Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight, yes, we have 7,800 games. Yay! And tonight, we have the exclusive re premiere, re -premiere. <laughs> of Pango. Because last time, nice world, world exclusive re premiere of Pango. Because <laughs> last time, we uh, a couple weeks ago, we had the the proof of concept of Penguin. That's true, yes. But it wasn't really a game. It the was full game. Just it was just showing game. things on the screen. So it, this it is the actual premiere cool. yeah, of I'm Pengo. Really excited. It's a very fun that game. Is, that was, yeah. Kicking ice, killing opponents. Yeah. <laughs> As it was described just yes. a moment ago. Yeah. Um, we also have, as soon as I get my notes up, uh, we have two other 7,800 games. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a very uh, unusual um, game in terms of the way you play it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Gray's Suit Alpha. Okay. Um, that's from 2017. And we'll get into how it's Three different. Three words that don't sound like they should go together. No. No. <laughs> um, and then we're going to be Suit playing Alpha. Meteor Shower. Okay. Uh, and that's by Bob DeCrescenzo. Nice, um, nice. You played it before, and I have not, because okay. we played all his games. Or oh, I played more all accurately, his games. you played I all his games. It. I got to play it. Okay. I haven't played I all his games. remember that. There's Pac-Man Plus Atari Oh, Pac-Man Plus is in the Hello. chat. And we also have Daryl I saw Genther, a Daryl, yeah, jump in there too. Who is the Wonderful. author of Pengo. Love it. Uh, for the 7800. Yeah. And we have one other game tonight, but yes. we will get to that. Yes. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers: Eight Bit, Swami, Armscar, Coder, Atari, Buck Owens, Caffman, Two D, Charles Wheel, and Chive Five Seventy Four, Coconut Eighty One, Dianoid, Dan, if you see Drexel, Doctor Mook, Hals, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Jedekai, Johnny W C, Carl G, Mark Space Inc, Metal Lunar, Mike, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Mick. Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarn, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Pack Rap, VG, Korog, RC70, Render, Ghost, Rehentless, VG, Ricardo, Pam, Ash, Sit All, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, Ras, Ramirez, The D Train, Welshman, Tiki, Dan, Kate, Trek, and DX, Kenex. And just before the show, see if I can say that any faster. Uh, somebody <laughs> else renewed Al their Nefer? subscription. Al Nefer! Yay, thank you thank so you. much. Because I don't think his name was on here. Actually, there's like 10 people who dropped off oh, from last week to this week. including myself, by the looks of it. Yes, I don't <gasps> think my name is on that's there. That's <laughs> the problem. That's the problem. Uh, yeah, that's how Trouble. I always get notified is when I'm on the show. And I look at the, I look at <laughs> the subscribers list and I'm like, oops. You better get on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, um, I'll get on there again. <laughs> so if you don't see your name on there, and yes. it's a very good chance because about... 20 percent of the people dropped off from last week to this week. Oh, really? So it must have been yeah. mass renewal time. Yeah, no kidding. Um, yeah, just click subscribe. Yes. Um, it's free if you have Amazon Prime because they own the same company. So just link them up, mm -hmm. and it's free for you. Or you can pay, or you can you do, get, or you can do nothing. You get one free subscription a month, so you yes. can subscribe to whomever you like, and Your we would appreciate it if you subscribed. Twitch stream. That's right. Whichever your favorite Twitch stream yes. is. Could be the one you're watching right now. That's right. Could be another one. <laughs> we don't know. Yep. Or you can just follow. Yeah. And then you'll get alerted when we're on. Exactly. And you can watch for absolutely free. Yes. Because it's just fun to do this. Yes, that's right. Um, so, mail. I didn't actually go to the mailbox today. But that's no, okay. We'll catch should. up next time. <laughs> um, but I did pick up this mm. the other day. Donkey Kong Tabletop. I've been looking for a long time for one. Mm. And I usually only get them if they're like really nice condition. In good condition, yeah. And this one is beautiful. All the stickers, they all look good. I mean, I could clean it up a little bit. It's yeah. a little dirty around the edges. Yeah. Got stickers on the back. Yeah. Um, one's peeling off a bit, but that's, that's just glue. Nothing. Yeah. Um, it's got French on the back, so you know it's Canadian. It's a Canadian, <laughs> it's a Canadian one. Yeah. You always have to make sure it's got the right cover for the batteries yeah. on the bottom. All the stickers on the side, they're not repro stickers. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure it turns on. All those things, and it does. Yes. So now I have four out of the five Coleco um, tabletops that have this form factor. Yes, yes, yes. I'm only missing Galaxian. Yes, okay. Yeah. Galaxian is not rare, it's not hard to find. I, it's it's harder to find in like nice sticker Condition. conditions. So. Yeah. That's what I look for mostly. You not just really, want the condition to be pretty good. Yeah, not really the price so much, but it, you know, you don't want it outrageous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it has nice stickers, but in a teal colored upper shell. Yeah. So I have Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Frogger. Um, um, I also have 
a couple Donkey of Kong other Jr., I have Zaxxon, and a couple other ones I can't see because they're flat ones. Yeah. Uh, Phaser Cat Game says, I remember that thing. Daryl said, I wanted one of those so badly as a kid. I knew some people who had one, but I never I never had anything. No. I just had a Commodore 64, which was awesome. Yeah. But then it had no consoles. And no. I make no up for systems. lost time That's now. That's right. That's exactly it. That's right. Yeah. When you have money, but no time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of time to play it on the show. Um, and the Esmeralds had uh, Donkey Kong nice. and Pac-Man back in the day. Yeah, they're really fun. They yeah. actually have translated them really well. Yes. This one, I would say, is not as good as the other ones. The Donkey Kong. But yeah, as far as the gameplay. Yeah, the Miss Pac-Man's great. Frogger's great. Pac-Man is great. Yeah. Um, I haven't played the Donkey Kong Jr. too much. Mm. Um, and the game of watches that I have up there are, are really, really clever. Really fun. Yeah. yeah, I like the game of watches. Cross was said I had Galaxian, but didn't like it much, so I tried it to my local shop. I've heard found that Galaxian has two joysticks, and you can play two players at once. How? I don't know. Like, like you'd be ships, like this? Maybe? I, I'm not <laughs> no, sure. but like it'd be so small. Zaxxon is crazy. Crossbow says Zaxxon's the best, but damn hard to play. I couldn't wrap my head around it. I'm not very good at Zaxxon at all because it's got this 3D perspective. Mm. It's yeah. treat time. Yum, and yum, yum, time. yum. Oh, the cats. Oh. <laughs> you guys you get to see? see you guys see the cats when they wake up when you that goes on they're yeah. like whoa whoa what's happening <laughs> we know what this means uh, so i'll be on the lookout for um galaxian there's some on ebay but and they're fine prices but i'm not i'm in no rush i'm in no rush i'm suddenly hungry yeah not for these things <laughs> they're super stinky yeah so let's go to the cat count oh there we go Go. Oh, there's a sneak preview of the pingo. Start feeding him. Oh, he can't because he has to ring it. Ring it. Come on. Ring it. Oh, well, you now rang the bell, so they're expecting a treat. No, he has to do it. He knows he has Hit to. Hit it, it on the top. Come on the on. top. Do it. Yeah, do it. Now we have Rainbow Bright and what was the other one? The new Coleco one? I think Come it was on, trans Atari. Transformers. Good kitty. Some robot thing. There's Robotech, that. that's what it was. They didn't look very good, though. Like, all they are is, they're not like those. Mm. They're just an LCD screen. Like, they're just a video game in that form factor. It's not unique or anything. So. Oh, thank you for following, PM Jetter Jr. Um, so, watch the cats in the lower corner. Um, so there's, um, unfortunately, some tragic news to report. That uh, Kurt Howe, also known as Nuki Shea in the Atari H forums, was reported yesterday on the forums um, to have passed away at the age of 54, mm. unfortunately. Um, Albert Yeruso posted mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, it's with great sadness that a report a uh, longtime Atari user Nuki Shea, Kurt Howe, has seemingly passed away. Uh, this was brought to my attention yesterday by Ball Blazer, who did a little digging after somebody else noticed that Nuki had not visited or posted mm. in some time. Um, so we had played um, a number of his games on Zero Page Homebrew over the years. Mm -hmm. um, Kurt has contributed over to over 120 hacks, according to Brian Mathern's uh, Homebrew list. Wow, that's a lot. He is <laughs> very prolific. Um, and he's also converted tons of classic games and homebrews to work on the Atari Flashback Portable, mm. which I know Brian Mathers is all about. He likes getting those conversions. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a massive loss to the community and to homebrew development. He helped a lot of people with mm. their programming. He was an expert at tweaking things and getting them to work when they weren't working mm. and improving games through hacks. Um, so there's been a massive outpouring of heartfelt comments on Facebook and the Atari Age thread mm -hmm. about his passing. Um, so you can see it uh, right there. Um, uh, he's touched so many people's lives in the community, like just reading through that thread. Mm -hmm. And um, he's definitely enhanced the enjoyment of the Atari 2600 through all the hacks he's done. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, every message I've read about him talks about him in such a a kind way yeah, yeah um helping people out with their programming without any ego or you know anything like that and it's just really really upsetting anytime we lose uh, somebody in the community yeah um and he, he just uh, gave so much to to, to everyone other people and shared his knowledge yeah. it seems yeah um so tonight we're going to be playing uh miss hack Ms. hack um in honor of kurt 
and we'll also be broadcasting a tribute stream to Kurt uh kurt how's work next tuesday okay so the whole stream is going to be nothing but his games nice um on uh tuesday september 28th so next tuesday okay because we're off this friday yeah um so you can uh check it out there and uh post your favorite uh games of his and uh we'll be playing a bunch of his uh, mm -hmm. on the stream next tuesday um, and he's got some amazing, amazing games that he's made. So it'll be really nice to play some that I have not played. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so suggest your favorite ones there. Um, and uh, it got a lot of people thinking um, in the in the thread here. Yeah. Because he actually uh, passed away a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. And nobody knew about it till yesterday yeah really um and somebody's like well he hasn't been posting in a while yeah it's and not until you digging. notice the because people obviously very don't post every day right no and they could go on vacation or take or a break take a long or break from it do right? something else for a while yeah um and it got a lot of people thinking about you know when and if they not if everybody well, passes away yeah, yeah. but when <laughs> when they pass away yeah um is anybody gonna know in the forums especially right now during um the I mean, pandemic you don't see each other at the conventions and things like that yeah it's kind of scary and and i guess unless you're leaving a hanging thread and people are like this person should have responded to me and never did yeah, or they're working on something actively yeah yeah and, and somebody's messaging them and then suddenly you don't hear from them but yeah uh, and and you know you think about well if I don't do the show in a while or I don't post in a while, it's like, well, how, how would they know what yeah, happened? And, yeah. and, and people are posting about that. I know, it's a sad and it's, thing. <laughs> and, I, and I asked Tanya the other day, would you go to the Atari Age forums or, or on Facebook or somewhere? Well, and, and somewhere and public can say, oh. I would, and I think. He got bit by a cat. <laughs> you know. Bad death, cats. Death eaten by Atari. Eaten by Atari. Um, passed out. And eaten but by I mean, Atari. I know, I know some of the communities you're a part of, so it's not hard for me to know that I should do something there. But if yeah. you have a spouse, or you're living on your own, because it said he wasn't, another he, person might not know that you're as an active yeah. member of a community. Because right? in his obituary, it didn't mention a wife or anything. So I mean, we don't know, right? And, but and yeah, we don't know. Yeah. And, and and if you don't mention these communities that you're a part of. It like can be hard for your next of kin you. or like, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So keeping a list of that in your accounts or or, or something or along some, that. Something. Yeah. Like here's things to do when I pass away, and especially mm. our demographic, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> getting a little bit older. Mm. I mean, I mean, we're all about forties, fifties. Like and, I know because up, I up. see yeah. the YouTube demographics, and it's solidly, <laughs> solidly <laughs> our age range. Yeah. Yeah. Like but like fine. 20 years time or something we have to yeah. start thinking about that yeah yeah anyway well. because we live in the online world yes and crossbow says i've left hard copies of air access, access to various sites for my wife or those might be survived me yes so they can ask my access my account to hopefully post on my behalf yeah or something have solidly gen x all uh, the yeah way. exactly yeah. solidly gen x exactly yeah um so speaking of crossbow uh my television is on its way back literally in the mail right now nice crossbow jesse has upgraded it yeah. to rgb uh oh, i was gonna show pictures uh, let's see if i can pull those out quickly um yeah i sent it off to him a little while ago and uh it got to him a couple days ago and he uh, quickly upgraded it so, yeah i can show some pictures of that see yeah might work better if i just put it to the side here yeah that'll, that's good there we go. so there's uh i don't even know what i'm looking at because i don't know the board very well but <laughs> yeah. we'll just we'll just take a look through it that's yeah uh, what i'm guessing the uh Wrong. yeah it has 2021 on it so that's yeah. the upgrade board oh gotcha the rgb board <laughs> Yeah. Um, with the um, RGB output. Yeah. And we'll get to that. There's another look at it. There's a look at the whole board. Very nice. 1979 technology in television. It's excellent. There's some very nicely soldered wires. Mm -hmm. um, another large look at the underside of the board. There's the RGB output. Uh, the breakout box, I guess. The second part of it. Oh, there you go. You can see the connector 
uh, which is going to be going to a oh, yes, yes, uh, yes. European SCART okay. connector, which uh, can plug into the retro tank. There you go. Oh, perfect. Or can be translated into the, the Frame Meister as well. Okay, that's good. And there is a uh, picture using a phone of uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit of more uh, there, mm. um, but it's it's clean cleanup. It's going to mm. be so so nice. So I've got a couple games lined up for Intellivision night. Excellent. Uh, homebrew night for Intellivision. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Excellent. Playing some homebrew. Yeah. So I've got two in the box and we'll play maybe play one or two more. Okay. Off of the LTO flashcard. Okay. And so that'll be a lot of fun. That will be fun. Yep. Um, so let's get on with it. It is time for the exclusive world premiere of Pengo. Yay. The first playable version so of excited. Pengo <laughs> by Daryl Genther. That's so exciting. Um, it was first posted uh, when we played the Proof of Concept August 27th. Um, but first we're going to take a look at the arcade so everybody's a little bit familiar with what it's kind of like. Mm -hmm. um, so It's, it starts it starts up thanks for playing it's yeah. very strange i don't know try, try once, once more, more. It, well it probably just repeats so and, every time uh, you die let's make sure uh, desktop audio is on yes mm. so here's the um a track screen nice this one make sure it's not too loud so but it should cute. be okay pango Snow. pango snowby ice block diamond block nice those are the four things yeah. in it uh he doesn't have this in his game <laughs> maybe, maybe eventually. We'll see cute. how much room's left. That's, That's very cute. cute. Hi, are you coming up? Oh, that's pretty loud. Um, so you're the little penguin, and you're pushing blocks around. And uh, those those uh, yellow orange guys are your enemies. Looks like mandarin orange type. Color. Oh, Mandarin <laughs> Only because I had some for lunch. So you have to push the blocks into them. The basics are you push the blocks into them, they die. Um, the other thing you need to do, oh, I don't know what that thing was on the edge. I've not played much Pango. Is you have to push those um, them together. those blocks, all three together for a big bonus. It doesn't end the round, but you uh, get a big bonus for that. Mm. So it looks like this player is... Looks like it stuns it if you if you run into if it? you run into it push it so there you go got the big bonus putting all three together nice. not much sound in this uh, no version that's weird that they don't because I've read that the original music was popcorn mm. your favorite song uh, for this <laughs> so I don't know why it's turned off it must have been removed in one of them mm. um. So the round ends when you get the three blocks together. No, oh. it continues on. You have to get all of the yellow guys? You have to kill all the yellow kill guys. Kill all the yellow guys. But he can run into them without dying? No, 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 he can't. Unless this guy's cheats on. Oh, because it looks like he has. Oh, here's the music. There we go. There's popcorn. Oh, that must have been the silent demo. And this is, he's, he's actually playing. Oh, I see. So that was the, still the attract mode. Gotcha. It's not, no, it's not an easy game, actually. It looks easy. But it's not. It's simple, but Those not guys easy. are deadly and fast, or they can be. They look fake. Not the first really level. Quick. But, well, this is arcade level. Mm. Um, okay, so that's enough of that. That's, that's the basics. Mm. Um, so, Pango is an arcade game developed by uh, Coraland and published by Sega in 1982. The player controls Pango, a red penguin that resides in Ar Antarctica. The game takes place in overhead maze of ice blocks where Pango crushes Blob. Actually, I can keep this running while I um, talk. Um, Pango crushes Blob-like snow bees by sliding blocks into them. Uh, the objective is to survive each round by eliminating all the snow bees and snow bee eggs uh, while optionally lining up the three diamond blocks for a large bonus. There are two versions of the arcade game. First uses popcorn as the theme, and the second has original music. There are all other small differences as well. The arcade game was considered a commercial flop. At the time, Pengo was ported to the 2600, 5200, Atari 8-bit family, and the Sega Game Gear. So it really was only missed on the 7800. So it's great 
that uh, Daryl was able to fill that blank in for the Atari lineup. Okay. Now is... Oh, so if you hit the wall, it goes wavy and then it'll stun them. It stuns them, them yeah. And you so can walk over them. If you're being mm. chased by them against the wall, that's probably a, a good uh, good way to get away from them. Okay. Mm. Are you ready? Drum roll. Forget the cats. Hi, kitties. Where did your brother go? Oh, didn't switch it. Did not switch it over. Pixel got his treats and ran off. Here we go. Bingo! Thanks for playing! <laughs> <laughs> Try one for. Squash the snow bees. Pango! Snow bee, ice block, diamond block. It's just like the in intro. Yeah, it's exactly oh, like it looks the intro. Great. It's great! Amazing. It looks great. 2021 20th Street Arcade. Conversion by Daryl Genther. Very nice. Look at Pango. that! Oh, they didn't finish. They went back. They must yeah. have made a mistake. <laughs> Pango! Oh. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, he did put this in. Oh, I just wow. didn't wait long enough. Oh, my God. <gasps> Look at that. Look at them all go. Oh, those are all the different color penguins. All the penguins. I and wonder the if snow player bees. two has a different color. Well, that would be so cute. And he's even got the attract mode. What's the attract mode? Well, it's when nobody's playing. Oh. It's to attract players oh, to the game. Oh, I see attract mode. Okay, yeah. I was like, what is attract mode? But, like, oh, okay, that makes dying. sense. Yeah. It's just a little demo. Game. High scores. Very Five nice. top high scores. There we go. Okay. Beautiful attract mode. It's exactly like the arcade. That is amazing. And if you look at his Popeye uh, conversion, yes. also it is stunning. amazing. Yeah. Okay, so I will get you to just play uh, on your own <clears throat> while I read some stuff out. So there's three, three different uh, levels of difficulty. Mm. Uh, novice, arcade, and uh, expert. Okay. Um, press the button apparently. Well, that's okay. Look at that, he's going button, push the start button. Apparently he has the alternative music, so hopefully he'll put in the popcorn music for you. <gasps> popcorn. <laughs> that would make Tanya very happy. Squash him. Oh, he's heading press. the right, right direction. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Run. And you can destroy blocks by... Ah, go, go, get away from him! You can destroy blocks by going into them and press the button. Yes, that's... yeah. Oh, this is on the 7800 Metal Lunar. Crossbow side would prefer save key saves as more accessible to the masses versus high scorecard. Yes, that's true. Yes, is this pokey? Could be either. Um, so, September 17th, Daryl wrote, um, wrote me, I thought I'd share this. I spent more time in the intro and attract modes at this point. I, keep, I kept adding to the attract mode. The enemy's lacking logic and quirky. It's quick and dirty logic. This will come, they'll come right after you, but they can't get around obstacles. This is an older build he's talking about. One more guy. You gonna try and put the blocks together? Uh, um, they will come right after you, but they can't get around obstacles. They don't always line up right. I need to revisit everything with that. I have it working for two players. And yes, he's got a two-player game. Not at the same time, but a two-player game so we can alternate. Yay! We finished. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I should have gotten the third one. That's okay! And he trips <laughs> when he goes off screen. Aww. Oh, it's TIA. Wow. This is really good TIA. You can do a lot of really good stuff, stuff with TIA, actually. But now that the Hokies are available for cartridges, um, there's no problem with... Um, and if you push those blocks, it goes right across the screen, too. So it can take out a bunch of them. Oh, line all three up. Um, on September 20th, yesterday, Daryl wrote, I'm having some buggy behavior from the snow bees. I may need to gut the current logic. It's becoming pretty convoluted. I will include two versions here. My first attempt at the snow bees crushing the ice... And then uh, the other one was my attempt to clean it up some. The snow bees aren't as unforgiving, but something's still not right. I believe the snow bees will sometimes damage the links in the star blocks and the egg block. Thus, the blocks with hidden eggs will disappear. Yet they're still there to hatch later. 
Oh, that's interesting. So if you see them flash yeah. and nothing comes out of them, that means they are future snow bees. Oh. So you can go after those. Oh, well, we have to hit them with a block. I know. And there weren't any available. No. Um, okay, the star block will look like it is there, but you won't be able to push it. Um, the fact this to have to do with the fact that I can't seem to get the snow bees to not dig through them. Before I drive myself crazy, I want to make sure there isn't something stupid like variables overriding each other. I've driven myself crazy over that before. I want to get something uh, better before you broadcast. And he sent it um, like about an hour ago. This this newest update that we're playing here. Oh, you can run over the snow bees when stunned. Oh, does that kill them? Or I don't is it just think, no? I don't think you can it just kills run them. over them. Oh, oh, get gosh. two. No, it's so hard. There's like none around. Yeah, you're running out. They're just going up and down. Oh, there you go. Get him. That's one. Oh. It's going to go up. Get him. Oh, get him, get him. Uh. Oh, it does kill them. <laughs> you guys can't do the show while I'm in class, the D-Train says. Oh, sorry, D-Train. <laughs> Good job. Is that... Round two? Yeah. And you lined up all the, all the things. See trips when he goes off screen. Aww. So cute. Uh, okay, so he sent a new one just before the show. So I made some last minute. Oh, no bonus. It took too long. Okay. So you get extra bonus for the faster you do yeah. the level. So those are all the eggs. Yeah. And some of them don't hatch. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, you could have pushed it. Get him, get him. Oh, oh run, run, run. Run away. Run. Run away. Uh, so I made a, last, a few last minute tweaks. Please let everybody know that it's still early and still buggy. It looks pretty It's good. a little slow sometimes. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Slows down. It, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's early. Um, with that said, the arcade game is pretty buggy with collision. So the actual game is buggy in the arcade. So get him. Oh. So we'll run. Going back and forth. Get him now. Yay. Um, snow bees that plow through star cube or go off screen is not an arcade thing. They don't destroy the, uh, the uh, star cubes, though. So it looks like some of them might go through the star cubes. But they shouldn't be doing it. Okay. Get him now. Down. Oh, he's getting mad. Coming for you. Oh, that's why. Ah, run, run, run! Now, do you have to put them in a row, or do you just no, have to join No, they just have them? to join, I think. Oh, no, have to be what? in a row. Oh, that's not what I did last time. Really? No, they were in a row. Oh, two and one. Nice. I guess I didn't get three. Um, I st it still needs some optimization. I might scrap a lot and redo with the knowledge gained. Here's the latest with a special board layout on level four. Oh, you're on level four. Mm -hmm. okay, right there, down. Nice. Two and one. Get him. Nice. Oh, and then push the oh. block down. Too slow. And then ah! <laughs> shake the wall and crush them. Yeah. Oh, I haven't played too much with yes. shaking the wall. That's right. The cute is strong with this game. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh yes. It is so cute. Cute little penguins. Even the opponents are cute. The snow bees caught by one block, the more points. Oh yes, yes. Well, now you can, can you get them in a row? Yeah. Yes, you can. So push that one to the right. Then go to that one and push it up one. It'll hit that ice block. One, nope, up one, and then all the way over. Hopefully killing that guy in the process. Nope. That's okay. 5,000 points! Da, 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 da. Okay, try and stun this guy with the side. See if you can do that. Oh, run over him, run over him, run over him. Oh, okay. No, you walk right over him. I don't think he kills... Oh, I don't know. They said it does kill him. It does kill him? Yeah. Ah. Okay. Doing very well. So I'm going to read how to play it. No, you're gonna read. You're still playing. No, no, sorry. I thought you you were about to say you were gonna. No, no, I'm reading strategy. Yeah, that's okay. Crush him. 
Oh no, too, too early. Soon. Oh, they're fast. Ah! Oh, they're mad. The snowbees are out to get me now. Uh, Pango can move safely anywhere on the screen, including along the walls which surround the maze. Uh, the push crush button will push an ice block through an open space if it was pressed when Pango is maneuvered by the joystick ah! against the ice <laughs> they block. They come really fast for you now. However, there's no open space oh for the ice block, then the ice block will be crushed. Oh my god, they're so fast! Oh, you moved instead <gasps> oh of pushing god. it. Oh my god! It's so fast now! Oh, oh that wasn't so good. They're over. super fast on this level. 10,000 if the star cubes aren't touching a wall. Oh, really? Oh. Mm. Okay. I will plan they you can are pushing. What am I reading? Push and... Push and crush. So okay. I am also going to be playing novice. <laughs> yeah, well, first. I made it... I made it what level Fifth. four level five, level five on novice so we'll have to try arcade yep push crush the push crush button will push an ice block through an open space if it is pressed when pango is being maneuvered by the joystick against that block however however if there's no open space in front of the ice block then the ice block will be crushed uh the diamond blocks are moved in a similar manner oh, however if there is no space in front of the diamond block then the block will neither be moved or crushed you can't crush a diamond block no um the push crush button will also activate the freeze mode on the walls. Mm. Which I haven't played with too much. No, I have to do that. I'll yeah, do, I'll I have do to that in a second. That. One to two players push either button to begin a one or two player game. Pango, have you gone through the characters? None of it. Okay. Pango, this red penguin waddles around the screen under your control. He can move up, down, left, or right, and is controlled by a four-way joystick. 10,000! He also has the ability to push ice blocks into his adversaries. This feature is activated by the push button. Pango's goal is simply to rid the screen of snowbees by crushing them with ice blocks. To do this, you must maneuver Pango into a position where a single Far ice away. block stands between him and a snowbee, and then push the ice block into the snowbee. The ice block will slide across the screen, pushing the snow bee ahead of it until colliding with an another ice block or wall. I just stunned him with a wall and yeah. walked over him. Yeah, so, so you can walk that over That works, him. yeah. Excellent. Slowdown happens when the snow bees are in dig mode. Uh, too slow. Mm -hmm. You have to wait till he fully hatches before... Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I didn't do that. He did it. He did it. <sighs> you have to be careful. Hello, Jedekaya. Thank you for joining. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> uh, oh, no, he made it out. Uh, oh, too late. Oh, oh I, did I kill you it? Did get oh, it. I did kill it. Oh. Let's see if I can join these up. Oh. Oh, no, Snowbees. 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 It's so funny. They don't look like bees, they look like orange penguins. Snow bees are Pengo's one and only enemy. They are small furry creatures armed with a hammer and an ice pick. Their goal is not only to crush ice blocks, but also Pengo. In the first four rounds, snow bees appear up to three at a time, and in the later rounds, there are four constantly active snow bees. There are four ways to kill the snow bees. Each of this is explained below. Snow bee eggs. In every maze configuration, there are snow bee eggs randomly scattered in various places among the ice blocks. At the beginning of each round, the snow bee eggs show themselves by illuminating the ice blocks in which they are hiding. There are eight snow bee eggs in the first two rounds, ten in the three, third and fourth, and twelve in each round thereafter. Every time one of the active snow bees is killed, one of the eggs hatch and makes a new snow bee. While it is impossible to exactly determine which one of the snow bee eggs will hatch next, it usually is the egg nearest to Pengo. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ah, I see. Well, the that blogs, makes it harder. the deadly snow bees are also cowards, and sometimes if only one of them is left <laughs> near the end of a round, a buzzer will sound. <laughs> this buzzer signals the snow bees' metamorphosis into a blob. A blob is about one and a half times the size of a snow bee, twice the speed, and will head directly for one of the four walls, destroying everything in its path. When a blob reaches the wall, it will head for one of the four corners of the maze, unless there is a diamond block along the wall. If a diamond block is present, it will head for that. In either case, when a blob reaches its destination, it disappears, thus completing the round. Read the ice blocks. Look at the board layout when you get to level four. Oh! Oh. ZPH! Oh, I didn't even see that Oh when my you gosh! Played. That's so awesome. <laughs> I was also paying attention to... Uh, not dying. <laughs> Not dying, yeah. Yeah. 
Die, 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 three! Ooh, nice! Oh, what Run. are you doing? I thought I would get it before no, I No, I don't think you can really get it. I think they're kind of invincible, too. Yeah, Come on up! Nope. Oh! Squish. Oh, you didn't even get your bonus. I... Given up it's, on the bonus? It's too Z dangerous. H. It's too dangerous, ZBH. Nice. That is awesome. Well, blobs are not implemented yet. Okay. Blobs? Yeah, the blobs. If there's one left, it Look becomes a blob quick. and just goes directly to its destination. So. Oh. But he said that hasn't been implemented. Okay. Yeah. Ice blocks. The ice blocks are what the maze is mainly made up, made up of. There are approximately 110 in every maze configuration. Oh gosh, so the maze configurations are, however, fairly random, except for the ZPH round, <laughs> yeah. uh, with about 30 different possibilities of maze configurations oh, for each so game. Fast now. It's so funny neither of us saw that while <laughs> we were ah. playing. You're so you're you're, you're so worried about dodging. <laughs> on not dying. Yes, S. Ramirez says, "Cart, please." Cart immediately. Yes. Good enough. Yeah. Print it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. I love the Snowbees so much. They are adorable. These guys are moving fast. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're fast. They don't go directly for you all the time. Kind of. Oh, well, my bonus. Yeah. And then I can just run. You run over. 10,000 bonus, because it was in the middle. Yeah. The tune is almost bubble bobble. Yeah, it's a really good mm. tune. It's not It's not annoying. It, it's, it's fine. It's cutesy. Mm -hmm. And the bubble bobble is... is Repeats. It's very short, but it's mm. very good. Oh, I made it. 49 seconds. They look to go to ludicrous speed after the fourth screen. Oh, God, yeah. They're oh, fast. Agreed. Ah, oh, ah. Ah. <laughs> Is that my last You're guy? You're six, right? Yeah. No, you got oh. five at the top there. Yeah, level six. Wow. Oh, God. No, five, five extras, I think. Is it? Is, ah. Isn't that ah. what it is? Five lives? No, no, no. He's holding no, flags. no, at the top five. Oh, Isn't that no, what that I is? Think that's oh no, it's not. How many snow bees or something? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, does There's it no go flat. flat? Pretty close. So now we're. We try arcade level. And now we're we're gonna try arcade, and then we're gonna and we're also gonna be doing two players, two sticks. So Are it's we got, gonna do two player arcade? It's got yeah, two player, one stick, two player, two sticks. So if you have two joysticks. This is two player, two sticks. Yep. Okay. Go for it. Wait, we go first. back and forth? Yep. Don't die. Yep, go back. Squid up. Oh! He went through it! Uh, he was halfway Naughty through it already. Snippy. Yeah, I don't know what the arcade does for that one. Oh, ah. they destroyed it! They wrecked your plans. Nice. Get up! Oh, ah, ah, run! Ah, why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> arcade isn't any different okay. except for three lives. Really? Oh, so it's slow so fewer as well. lives. Squish. Squish. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nice try. So cute. Squish. Oh my gosh, it's ah. so cute. Ah! Oh. She just can't get in the middle. No. For people who are not playing and who haven't played this, the game works in a grid pattern. You can't be halfway into a square. You're there in the square, you're not in the square. If you press to the left, mm -hmm. you go into the other one. You can't, and you can't turn around halfway. So that's why you see us go in a direction and not immediately go back, because you can't. You can't immediately go back. You, you commit to that direction. Looks like 160A. Uh, curious, would it give more vertical game sports space if you place the score and stats to the right versus upper and lower? Well, it would give more vertical space, which would be closer to the arcade. Um, because I believe the arcade is vertical. Um, but there's always trade-offs with home conversions. Uh, how funny, I just noticed that on the title screen from the first time it loads now, the color has cleaned up the green and it looks better. The green is very nice. Oh and the red is also a little bit better on the penguin, too. Uh, I don't know if you can correct. <laughs> no, no, you can. No! Uh, Sorry. You might still be able to. Why is there... Oh, you, there's an exit! <laughs> oh, there is an exit! I've taken too long. What am I doing? I don't know. There I was a way out. I keep messing this up. But I, now I can't figure a way out. Mm. Yeah. 
Oh, no, you can... St oh, it's, it's over. No, it's over. The text would cause less sprites per row. Yeah, I mean... I I'm guess like that that's old. that's the same issue on a 2600 as it is on a on a 7800. Ah, I do that all the time. <laughs> ah! Ah, run! 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 run. run. Destroy! Run. run! Run! Yeah. Stop going after me! <laughs> He's chasing me! <laughs> yeah, you see a lot of home conversions where... Yeah, you have to time it perfectly. The... Oh, there's one over there. Oh, they come out? No, they just show you that. Okay. So that should die? Yeah, okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Come on back. Squish. Ah! Oh my god. Run. Makes more. room. They just plow sometimes. They're just like... They're nah. in plowing mode, yeah. Against the wall, and yeah, you're gonna get the five. Easy, that's the easy way to do it. Five is better than zero. I guess if you run out of blocks, ice blocks on the screen, you yeah. can always stun using the sides. Yeah, that's, that's the... probably where you're, what you're stuck doing. Oh, right. I still have to play. <laughs> ah, stun. I almost forgot about that. Even after just discussing it. Oh, what happened? What is he doing? Is he lobby is mode? He is he in blobby mode? <laughs> is that what blobby mode is? I don't like? know. Oh, are you getting back? Are you going to go up? Oh, there we Yay. go. Yay! Uh, looking forward to Univores and Galaxian becoming available from the uh, sale in the Atari Age store. I'm guessing they're both coming out in the update. Squish. Oh, that was interesting. He emerged from his ice block, but the ice block didn't get destroyed. Uh, no, run, 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 up, 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 squish. Did I kill you? Huh? Nope. Oh, did it? Oh, it didn't kill him, it moved him. Mm. What? Oh, because I didn't destroy the ice block, I only no. pushed it. I mean, the rules aren't, it's not fully implemented everything yet, so... Uh, I should get those ones. Yeah, you can probably that, get those. What can I do here? Yeah, you can do that. Push them all up against the wall. Yeah. Or up against... Can I do this? Oh, let's try this. No. no. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the wall it is. I'm sure Al doesn't want me installing or selling them without manuals. No. Are all the blocks individual sprites or character mode used for the layout? Oh, the BIOSes. Oh, yes, as well as the new BIOS. Oh, very cool. Yep. Looks great. Another needed game for the 7800. Hey, DNS Debro. Mm -hmm. Debro. Okay, I'm gonna wait. And mess it up. Oh, I got two of them. Very that careful made up time. For That's bad. Oh, I have to kill it, don't I? Ah, 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 ah. That's a good way to do it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, ah. <laughs> Should have just plowed through the blocks. Yeah. Blocks are character titles. The eggs and stars will overlay with sprites when flashing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sarah Chira. Uh, says, I'm an okay coder, terrible programmer. Though because the Apple II is my platform of choice, I do speak some 6502. 
Yeah, luckily 6502 is in so many, so many uh, consoles and computers from the 80s that makes it a lot easier to transition from one platform to the other. Really, what you have to deal with is graphics and sound on each of them, which is a lot. But the actual coding coding can uh, translate. Get those points! Pac-Man says, this game is really incredible. You do such great work. It is. Like Beautiful. Squirt him. Squirt him. Oh! Now he's really angry. Ah, uh, don't come after me! Vibrate the side. Don't know how to vibrate the side. You just kick it like, a, like an ice cube. Kick it like an ice cube. He has to be on this side, though. He has to be touching the wall. There you go. Get him quick. Get him. Gets all blobby. Phew. Yeah, the graphics hardware can be a real pain to work with. Like, the 2600 uses a 6502-ish. Um, but the graphics are totally different from anything else out there. No bonus. One minute, 25 seconds. Yeah, it was a long time. Yeah. <laughs> it took a long 19 time. 19 seconds and under wow. 5,000 points. That is I don't know impressive. how you do that. Oh, oh, he pee busted it. It's dangerous trying to push close. the block right next to him. Oh, my goodness. Because you can't guarantee that they're not going to destroy that block. And I guess in the higher levels, as things get harder, there's a better chance of them destroying it. I never knew about the wall kick thing. I might need to revisit the 5200 version. That's very true. It's helpful. <laughs> like, it's needed. You made it. Good strategy. I don't know how I managed that. Nice. He freezes for a bit. Does he freeze till the cube hits the wall? I have to watch the, when he kicks a cube all the way across. It's more like he pushes it. He doesn't really kick it. He does. He froze all the way for that one. He did for that one too. Oh, we could have pushed it. I don't want to kill him. I want my, my blockies. Oh, I see. Oh. Only one guy left. I mean, it's a good strategy. Oh, oh, oh. Oopsies. Quick, 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 kick it! Oh. Uh, <laughs> wrong spot. Don't forget the wall stun when they're against the wall. Yes, he does freeze until the ice block stops. Okay, so that dictates when Z they stop. ZPH Thank you so much oh. for that. Nice little... Uh, Easter egg. Yeah, it's cute. It's very cute. Super cute. Super cute. Smoosh. And Two and one. Smoosh, smoosh. Nice. All right. Yeah. With this game, Daryl is quickly becoming the next master. Mm -hmm. of the 7800 with these incredible conversions. Mm, I don't know how you're going to get that. Mm. Mm. Yep. I can't push it. Only ah, one. Ah, ah, one. Ah! <laughs> oh, he's mad at you. He is. Mm. Oh, smoosh no. You. Oh, you're giving up on that? No. Oh. Oh, bulldozing mode. Don't squish him if you want your bonus. I do want my bonus. You get extra points if you squish him with the star blocks. Run over that blobby guy. The exit is back on the side. Mm. That's interesting. I'm not fast enough. <laughs> You're doing well. We've been playing for a while. <laughs> I haven't been able to play. Yeah. Well, you played your last round lasted a long time too. So. Yeah. Oh, I 
every time. Ah, they move so fast. Some of the bugginess of pushing an egg with a snow bee is oh, similar dead. to the arcade. I'm dead. It's your turn. Uh, your turn. That is an egg. That's cool that it shows you. Mm-hmm. Friggin cute. What? What? What is these going through blocks? Oh, I think that one's happening. Nope. He walked through a block. I saw it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Three. <gasps> Very nice. Squish him. Squish him. <laughs> Snow bees can't destroy blocks with eggs hidden in them. Oh, they can't. As now oh that's what that's why they're walking through the blocks that have their friends in them. They can't destroy them. Oh. They shouldn't be destroying they shouldn't be walking through them or oh, destroying I see. them. destroyed kill tons of their friends but well. so but they attack first <laughs> ah I thought I'd get in time but mm. Mm. too late uh, sometimes you can't but you got a lot of points so. yeah they should reverse so they hit the block and then go back mm. yeah. I've got some bonus points there Oh, you can skip it. That's good. Come on. Oh, they're fast. They're so fast. Oh my god, run. Run, run, run. run. Oh, you're at level 5. Once you hit level 5, they're crazy fast. Oh, that one hatched. Ah, uh, run, 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 run. And they're after me. That's so mean. Oh my god, run. Oh, they're so fast when they go into bulldozing mode. There's like... One left. I might be able to do the bonus. <gasps> no. Or not. I shouldn't bother at level 5 and higher. Oh. Okay, now we're going to play extreme mode. Oh my goodness. And die immediately. Awesome. Mm. Two joysticks. Couch compliant. Thank you, Daryl. Okay. Always important. Go for it. Here first. So in this you get two lives, or three, and so what's the difference on the uh, expert, oh, difficulty isn't fully implemented. What should it be? Do they just go, they're just faster, I'm guessing, on um, the expert mode? They start off just super fast, and with lots of snow bees. Not sure it might be faster. I would think faster with starting on a higher snow bee number. Oh. Might be more aggressive. Because mm. there's definitely aggressiveness in this game. Yeah. And sometimes they're just like wandering. They don't care. And sometimes they're like, I'm going to get you. Yeah, <laughs> yes. In his first iteration of the game. Mm. They were just making a beeline for you. Like, mm. they're snow bees. So. <laughs> making a beeline. Very funny. Very so funny. terrible she didn't even react. I No, I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> heard, but not reacted. 
Whatever seems fair. Yeah, it might go from go four from the beginning. Yeah. People in the chat appreciated it. I didn't say I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> I just I heard it. Silent appreciation. You you got my honest reaction. <laughs> it was terrible. Fully justified. <laughs> yeah. Run. Run, yeah. no, run, run. <gasps> he went there's through? A, there's, uh, there's a bee in there. Is there? Well, there's not. He went right through it. There's no bee left. He's the last guy. Mm. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah? Push the block that is to your left up to the top. Up? This guy? Yep. This one? Yep, up. And then push it over and up. Yay! Thank you. Mm -hmm. 10,000 points. 10,000 points. This game is ultra cute. You're not using any of the wall. Neither have I. I haven't I think, used I it too forgetting. much. It's only when they're right up against it and you're up against it, right? Yeah. <sighs> um, so, Daryl, what is your plans with this game? Mm -hmm. Are you going to work on it some more and release a demo? Because he did it with Popeye. At least a um, level limited demo. Um, it's probably, I, he probably wants to work on it a little bit more to fix up some of these snow bee bugs. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. I will probably release a demo when it's more stable. Yeah, just probably the snow bee issues, walking through things. Nice one. Look at that. That was very stupid. I didn't think there was a way oh, to... Oh, come cheated. on. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. There's a way you can put the blocks. You can't put them together. Yeah, There's one in two. the corner. Yeah. And then two together. At the moment I did it, I was like, ah. Oh, this is... Uh, I do have the size of the game. Probably going to type it before I can get to it. 144. Okay. It's a big game. I would love to have pokey sound, but they might have to come from elsewhere. Right, yeah. That makes sense. Squish. Oh, there's two down there. Mm. Oh, he rocked, walked right through it. Oh, you pushed. <gasps> Did you see that? <gasps> he went through it, too. He, You pushed an ice block through it. He and then walked, he walked through it. He walked through the turn. one above, too. Oh. I don't find this level different than the arcade. No, he said it's not really implemented. Yeah. Yet. So we just get to play it again, which is fine. That's fine, buddy. <laughs> it is so much fun. There's one there, one there, dead and mm. dead. Come on back. Come on back. Oh, almost. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to get it anyway. Okay, and squish. Now I can work on my blocks. Um, I don't think I can... Oh, no, I think I can. Do that. Do that. Do that. Just make a space. Clear some room out. Underneath it. Yay! I almost killed him accidentally. 10, it looked like for a moment the, the snow tried, tried to... to dig into a diamond block, and it should have blocked him, but he went through it. He yeah, went I through agree. it. He went through two of them in a row. Yeah. Something like Warp Warp is probably mindlessly simple to do on a 7800. Warp Warp? Mm. I haven't heard of that one. Oh, I got 10 points. <laughs> mm -hmm. So are all the levels the same? Do they start out the same except for the ZPH one? No. Oh. All the mazes are different, I think. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe I'm just recognizing that one over and over again. The 10 point stage clear bonus is almost insulting. <laughs> Did we make it to level? We didn't make it to level 10. Must be talking about the arcade. I oh, to... the diamond box was at the bottom. 
there were only two diamond boxes on the screen. What? Something funny happened there. Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, good. there's a diamond block off the bottom of the screen. It, it like went off the it screen? It was just off the screen. Oh. No, it didn't go didn't off the screen. That. It was just sitting there at the bottom. Very odd. Oh. oh, I'm way too early. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Ah! <laughs> and you, you freeze when you first hit it. So. Yeah. Well, that's not good. Oh, didn't hatch. One there. One there. And I'll squish you that way. And two of them. Good job. Hatch, of course. Yeah, you're down to the last three, ah, though. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, plow mode. Plow mode activated. I'm trying to imagine how clearing the stage in tank sack is even possible. Possible, I know. I have no idea. It just maybe the first level. Maybe. <laughs> you want chip? Sure. Thank you. No, 19 seconds, 20 mm -hmm. seconds. Even that seems absurd. It's a bad idea to do that one because um, uh, he can go to plow mode and kill you right away if he wants. Push him! Oh! Oh. Mm. It's it's so slow going through them because you get stunned. It's your turn. Read some strategy while we finish up. No. Oh. oh my goodness! What? You died already? I to, no, I tried to turn up and hit a block, but here. Mm -hmm. Read some strategy. This strategy requires a fairly good memory. Well, it's not going to work. For oh, me, the no. egg will. Uh, you since you must them. be able to remember where the eggs were revealed at the beginning of each round. Actually, you're pretty good at, at chasing those down. I can get to remember. Once you a know couple. where they are, you should maneuver Pango to an egg hiding ice block and crush it, thereby killing the egg and earning 500 points. Do not, however, get greedy and immediately try to crush three or four eggs at the beginning of each round. If you do this, the snow bees will rapidly track you down, force you into a corner, and kill you. It is best to play conservatively and only kill one or two eggs at the beginning of each round. Hmm. Uh-oh. I was going to go for lining them up. Mm. Nope. Still read. Read mm. more. Mm. Wait, eating on stream? Yeah, I know. This isn't Darcy's day. I had a very light lunch. There were very limited options where we were. And it was annoying. <laughs> so we're eating some chips till dinner. Um, it was very funny mm. today. We were describing the stream to your mom. Oh, yeah. And, my parents are visiting right now. So. And, uh. If you hear clomping in the background, yeah. that's my parents walking around. They, they, they asked what, what, what you do on the stream. It's your turn. My, oh. And you're dead. Um, that's helpful. And we described it and, and they went, oh, it's kind of like fun with flags. <laughs> From, from, uh, I'm like, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> in that super geeky way. Yeah. Because they watch The Big Bang Theory, so yeah. that they understand, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Hatch. Sometimes they don't hatch right near where you are. Mm. And I was like, yeah, it, I don't it's know. It's not that far off, really. How many Vexology fans are there on Reddit versus how many homebrew, yeah. uh, Atari homebrew? <laughs> I was wondering if your muggle friends understood your weird hobby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, I'm gone. 
the wall is actually really powerful. Mm -hmm. I have fun with flags and, and you, you guys, guys too. too. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Such Esther Mary. Such a cute, cute. Anyway, it's like oh, oh so they I know understood why she that. Said that because it's like it's it's streaming. It's you and I doing it. It's yeah. not just the streaming. It's it, well, it's also recording video for the internet, it's right? Like husband yeah. and wife doing it. It's, yeah, sort of. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's like ah oh, no 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 ah oh. <laughs> side got erased. Mm. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Daryl. Big, Big Bang, Bang Theory, Theory reference. reference, yeah. That is true. That's what it is. Um, everything about this is absolutely amazing. It feels polished. Just those little yeah. weird quirks. That's all there is. I have a question for yeah. you. Uh, are the colors a little off with this system? Um, or is this what... It doesn't seem very bright. It seems a little muted, but... I just asked because I wasn't sure. I have brightened it <laughs> for the actual stream. For the actual stream. Yeah. Um, it could be a mm -hmm. little dull. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've adjusted it inside. Mm -hmm. I mean, it should be the right color now. Okay. In terms of hue, mm -hmm. but there might be a way to like um, replace a resistor that may mm -hmm. be not working. I don't know how. How. Uh, uh, Luma mm. is affected on the system. Um, I wouldn't adjust internally. It's really off kilter. It's muting at the beginning, but seems brighter now. It, yeah. It's it's fine. Mm. I mean, it's a tiny bit dull, but the whites are pretty white mm -hmm. at the top, and everything's fairly bright, especially mm -hmm. that green snow bee. Beside, oh, the green snow bee is very bright. Yeah. Yeah. At at beginning, you have to let it warm up. I guess. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good stuff there daryl thank you so much for mm -hmm. letting us debut pengo uh, i can't wait for everybody else out there to get to play it when he posts the demo which i'm guessing would be fairly soon mm -hmm. if he can squash all those little bugs squash those bugs squish that cat it's fine they all need to warm up anyway it's so yeah. funny that things need to warm up all yeah. this old stuff yeah let me open the door and the window it's very warm very hot. Very confused pixel. Oh, don't run away. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, so much better. Okay. We go to the next game. Which is uh, very different. Uh, Graze's Suit Alpha, Okay. I believe, is... The, the, the words in that order. <laughs> um, it's really different. You have no ability to shoot. Okay. Um, I mean, you didn't. There's no shooting in that game either. Um, you destroy things by being near them, but not too close to them. By okay. just touching them. But we'll get into that. Uh, okay. This is by Mord. Mm -hmm. It's from 2017. Uh, okay. It was first posted 2015. This build is from September 21st. 128k game. This is his only game uh, that he's made. He's made a, a couple other demos. Um, so the object of the game is to try and tag the enemies flying and bouncing around the screen without getting hit directly. Mm -hmm. Scoring will certainly change between now and then. Blah, 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 blah. So you'll see how it works. So pick up your joystick. All right. It's going crazy right now. It sure is. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's getting signals. Oh. Raise suit alpha. I'll, I'll start it again. So you guys can see the beginning. And I'll switch the cartridge. That's a strange noise. Is that a lawnmower manual lawnmower or something? <laughs> it's a very strange sound. Um Okay. I would go to easy. Um the first button slows you down, the okay. second button speeds you up. Okay. Um you're that person. And you have to to kill those things. You have to touch them, but not let them touch the center of you. You have to just barely touch them. I don't understand. So just just touch them a little bit. There you go. There, you destroyed that one. You have to touch them long enough, 
that, it destroys them and takes all their energy. Um, oh, it killed me. Okay, this is very interesting. Yeah, it's very, very different. That's why I wanted to play it. It's also, I found it very challenging. Really, really hard. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, Daryl uh, is talking about Popeye, whether it's going to be out in this next run of games, and I was suspecting it was because he had sent the box in manual, but he has not heard back. So hopefully we're close, Daryl says. I hope so too. I was fully expecting uh, Popeye to be released. But we shall see. Which things? Does it matter what, no, what it is? All of them. All of them from there. See? You just touch them a little bit, and it destroys them. But if they get to the center of you, like touch the middle of you, yeah, then you're it, dead. I'm like touching a lot of these things. Yeah. Now it's so. not this. Is it the center of you? Yeah. Or do you have to? That little white dot. If they touch that white dot, you're dead. I don't know. I feel like they're all touching the center. Quite understand this. None of them get quite to the middle of the view. Yeah, but it seems someone like right on top of almost. It's a little weird. There's definitely an unusual game. So I will read the instructions for this. Yeah, you might want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we get the full story. It's neat. It's like you're in your your X-Men suit, your um, <laughs> Iron Man suit. Yeah. Currently, you gain points by grazing against enemies. Try to touch the edges of the enemy without letting the enemy touch the center pixel of the player. Mm. Or outright destroying them if your graze power is high enough. Mm. If you can manage a long enough graze, the more points... Uh, the more points than just destroying the enemy. Uh, different enemies give different points for destroying them. Additionally, you gain bonus, uh, bonus points at the end of each wave based on the number of enemies you successfully touch without destroying. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I have to get up and reset this one. Um, as well as survival bonus for not dying during the wave, that's uh, the relative to how much grazing you've managed to do. The waves included are mostly for testing. Enemies have different colors each wave, although they will all share the same palette due to the screen mode. Once the end of the wave data in the ROM has been reached, it will begin looping. Enemies. Gears. Simple bouncing enemies. I'm guessing those are the things that just turn around and bounce around. Don't shoot you. Helipod, a propeller-based cannon. They can fire a variety of bullets. The propeller cannot be grazed. So yeah. don't hit the propeller. Yeah, I figured that out. Uh, so be careful when trying to graze the enemy. This one might be a little... Not couch compliant. No, it is not. It is not couch compliant. Oh, you hit it there. Huh? Looked like you hit the propeller. Usually I get it from below, but... Mm. Obviously, if it hits your... Center point. Lancer, a simple two-pronged spear, the enemy that flies quickly in a straight line. If it hits you, it'll take it with take you with it and pin you to the wall for an mm. amount of time. Try to dash to make it release you. Mm. Nope. 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 It's not a twenty six hundred gun. It's a reset. Seventy eight hundred. You'll get there. Yeah, one of them. It's one of those systems. I uh, completely types. forgot what we were playing. Small bullet, a simple <laughs> energy shot that will despawn after hitting a player. A large bullet. Like, I'm just so used to hitting the uh, reset on the 2600. I know. It's usually the one I have to hit. The colors in this are begging for the chroma fix. Yeah, they're pretty... pretty dark colors. Um, large bullet, a strong punch compared to the small one. If it, in effect, it pulls a double hit. If the player dies from the first hit, then the bullet will continue on as a small bullet. Paralyzer, grazing this bullet drains your graze charge instead of fills it. So your graze charge is in the bottom left. Quickly, if you're hit, it will slow the player for a couple seconds. Boss bullet, Rather large bullet that will crawl along the walls, occasionally jumping across the screen, screen at the player. Name that because it won't. Usually it will be bosses using them. For now the Hellpod uses them, but the final game it won't. Power-ups. A P simply awards a larger bonus for destroying the enemy. Graze bonus, the G, 
Increases the points enemy awarded at the end of the round for grazed enemies by 9 points. Resets a death. S, speed bonus. Increases the player's speed slightly. Reset at death. Regeneration, an R. Causes the grazed power to charge automatically for about 10 seconds. It'll stop on death, however. Beware, I hunger. <laughs> Sarah Chitorita. Ch Chikorita. Chikorita. There we go. Sarah Chikorita. The mechanic seems like it would be really challenging to say the least. Oof. It it is. It's I've tried unusual. to play this and yeah. it's so strange. It is strange. I can't you quite have to figure be out so precise with it. I can't quite yeah, it's like you're like, I swear I just did that three times in a row and it didn't kill me, but then it killed me that time, so but yeah, it, it, it's neat. It's very neat. Oh, no. Okay. Right now GSR increases the points to destroy bonus of the gear from one hundred to two hundred. When you've saturated the bonus of the power-up, the bonus will increase to 500 points since you won't get an increase in graze or speed. Uh, in the case of regen, you'll get the 500 bonus as well as reset the timer on the regeneration to max. Zoom. Controls. Joystick moves the player. Fire button 1 or was it 2? Dash. Fire button 2 or was it 1? Slow speed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, button 1 out. is slow. Yeah. Button, button 1 is slow. Is button 2 is... is Console switches, reset reboots the game, select returns to the title menu screen, right difficulty enables disables life stealing in two player games. If one player runs out of lives, they can take a reserve from the surviving player so long as they have more oh, than one. Oh, is this a two player simultaneous game? Yeah. Oh. Pause should work with the default 7800 basic thing. Two player modes. Old versions only. Standard, the default mode. Basically, no benefit or pen penalty is presented. It's pretty much like it is in one player. Co-op players share Grace charge to help stay alive longer. It won't um, won't let a player's charge go below 40, but above it, above that, it will attempt to share out the charge power between players. Versus, players compete each round for points. Whoever has the higher bonus point score at the end of a round takes a spare life from the losing player. Assuming they have one to spare. Jesus. It's, it reminds me a lot of Robotron as well. Mm. With just a bunch of stuff on the screen. Yeah, I just... Yeah. And they're firing at you, and they're running around at you. You have to touch it, too. It's like... It's, it's, you think... You don't have to be close. You have to actually touch it without it hitting you in the middle. It pinned you. Yeah. That lens. One really, really cool thing about this game. Watch the points. Next time I get points. Yeah. I don't really know this. Goes Watch down. that 200. It moves up to the score. Oh. Like the 400, it goes up, over, and oh. adds itself to the score. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. It's very strange mechanic. Oh, screen now. Yay, I made it to the... Ah! Made it to the next level? The round, I guess they call it. Um, timer seems to be always stuck around But isn't it something. weird? Sometimes you're like right on top of something. And wouldn't you swear it's touching the middle pixel? It almost did there. And I wanted to put this on the show because it's such an unusual game. Yeah. Like, I've never seen a game's mechanics like this where you just kind of time to touch things. Yeah. And you have no weapon, no um, projectile whatsoever. It is, it is Getting interesting. Getting the hang of it. Yeah. Uh, the key is not to move fast. Yeah, and just go for... Because if you move slow and you kind of move with the object, you're less like it's less likely to kind of kill you. And I go for things that stop. Yeah. Oh, next round. Did my timer reset? What is what is uh, making me notice. go to the next round? Probably a certain score. Maybe. I don't know. I've also got my, my graze bonus there. It's at 94. Yeah. 79. Oh, you know why I'm not dying? Mm -hmm. Because my graze score is going up and down as I do get hit. Mm -hmm. So there is a bit of protection, it looks it? like. Mm. Ooh, down to 50. 31. Maybe that's the next dying? round. No. Oh, 
21, now it's gone up. There, 86. So, uh, it does go up and down. Mm -hmm. If you do well or poor. Is it well or poor, or is it by yeah. not hitting anything for a while? 99. Yeah, so that's like your shield, almost? I guess so. It's street, so it, yum, 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 street time! Yum. It's street time for cats. So it acts as your shield that you can recharge by grazing things. Interesting. Okay. That's why you were touching things without dying. Like the, the blade of the... Oh, that something just happened. Yeah. An extra life, I think. I think you did. Kittens. Uh, I think I've got to hold his handle on this game. Kittens, do you want your treats? As I die instantly, I'm sure, in the mm -hmm. next two seconds after I say that, because that's what happened. <laughs> Are you hungry? Hungies? Are you hungies? Hungry cats? You have to hit the bell. He's confused because there was noise outside. Oh. Hit the bell, kitty. He's like, not not sure if he should hit the bell or. There you oh, go. Good kitty. Good kitty. Maybe you can earn more for destroying enemies. Mm. Um, I think you do earn. I don't think you earn graze points for destroying enemies, just grazing them. So yeah, in the act of killing them, you get graze points. And then I did go to zero, and then I died, because I ran out of shield. Very interesting mechanic. <laughs> so you want to keep it at 99. So if you're low, you have to keep, you have to make sure you're uh, not being too aggressive. Are you a food motivated cat? Yes, you are. Cute kitty. Hmm? Are you cute? Sometimes. So, um, like. You're doing much better than I was. I was I, having a really hard time not getting killed. I said in the chat before the show, my 5,200 mods are coming. Yes, yeah. Uh, they're almost here. I have a UAV and a power mod for my 5,200 for port. Mm. Um, so we'll be able to play 5,200 games after I mod that, which would be great because there are homebrews made. Not many, but some made. Following. Yes, NPL. Thank you. Thank you for following. Glad you are enjoying it. Okay, I think I've maxed out on yeah. this game. Yeah. <laughs> um, on easy mode, anyway. So we'll take a look at hard mode quick. Mm. Just so we know what it is. It's probably like just faster and deadlier. Probably faster and deadlier. There we go. Got all my <laughs> shield all the way up from one thing. Oh, it went to zero. So you hit, the, you hit, hit the, the blades. Oh, and dead. I'm ready. And dead. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take long. It's, it's unique, Dan. Yeah. It's very unique. Um, I've, I've, I've never seen or played a game like that. It's very sensitive. Yeah. I think your shield goes down a lot quicker. Yeah. That's what's happening. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, hard is very hard. Yeah. My son PL says, dang, now I want to make an Atari game. Oh, don't yep. we all? Yep. <laughs> if only we had the time. That's the only thing holding me back. Is time. <laughs> I have to do this show twice a week. <laughs> it would probably be dedicated to making games. Yes, it's true. It's true. Um, okay, it's hard. cool. Common side effect of watching this stream, yes. I know, it's like I show all these brand new games. Yeah, yeah. Um, made by people all the time. Okay, now onto the third game, which is Meteor Shower. Yay! Change the graphic. Boom, boom.
Oh, actually, before that, hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. Because um, mm -hmm. this is a port of sorts of uh, an Intellivision game, actually. Okay. Uh, Astro Smash. So let's take a look at Astro Smash for the Intellivision. And this is one of your friend's favorite games. Remember she was playing it at our retro gaming night? Oh, She's yeah. like, oh, do you have Astro Smash? Like, yeah. Of course, oh, yeah. Smash. <laughs> of course he has Astro Smash. It's the most common game for the Intellivision ever. Um, so this is... Uh, James, if you want to make an Atari game, you can turn this into a coding screen. Yeah, stream. exactly. Then it would be really be zero page homebrew. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. I don't know how many people would watch me code. Uh, it's fairly tedious. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll be all telling me, you're doing it wrong, you're doing yeah. it wrong. So this also has a very interesting scoring mechanic. Mm. Shoot everything. Yes. But if you miss something, it subtracts it from your score. Your score, yeah. So if something, you go back down to zero. If you basically. get 10 points for shooting it, you lose 10 points for not mm. shooting it. Um, so this, uh, Meteor Showers by Bob De Crescenzo. Um, Aster Smash, this game we're looking at, is a fixed shooter game for the Intellivision console, designed mm. by John Soule and released by Mattel Electronics in 1981. The player uses a laser cannon to destroy falling meteors, bombs, and other targets. Uh, with more than one million copies sold, Astros Master is among the five, top five best-selling intelligent games. Muddy Funster, good morning! Thank you for resubscribing, Muddy Funster! Yeah. Um, an Atari 2600 port was released under Mattel M Network's label as Astro Blast. Mm. Um, so, Astro Blast. it's a very popular game, and I think they remade it on the Amico. Oh, that's the, the, the new upcoming Amico. Yeah, because it, it looked looks, really nice, actually. It looks pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same mechanics for the for the new game. Um, talking to the people I imagine watching help me solve problems. Yeah, yeah. it would. Yeah, Phaser yeah. Cat Games does a programming uh, stream as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So let's switch back to 7800 and uh, play that. Well, a lot of people, like, on modern games, like Minecraft, watch, watch people build things and make yeah. things. So I, I would assume coding would go over quite well on Twitch. Yeah. But, I mean, you're looking for a pool of people who are interested in that. And yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I'll, I'll, I'll switch the uh, Tuesdays to coding days. Yeah. How about that? You can Did teach you me like how that? to code. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'd be by myself. <laughs> it's, it's very slow and tedious. Oh, I know, I know. Um, unless you're special people like Pac-Man Plus or yeah. John Champo. I, when it comes to stuff like coding or even just like making formulas and st like that's my experience with coding is more like formula making. Yeah. Um, it's just kind of like trial and error most of the time. <laughs> well, that's not the best approach to coding. No, but I mean like understanding it and n not trial and error, but when, when you're trying to fix bugs and why something isn't working is, is more like fiddling and, oh, and yeah. understanding it. So when it came out, um, June 5th, 2011, the initial run, mm -hmm. uh, came out in two flavors, blue or red. Mm -hmm. uh, he sold 39 of them. Um, you could pick the blue or the red one. Nice. And uh, also, like it. yeah, very nice colors. I like that a lot. And then, here's the box. Blue or red? Yeah, blue or red mm. box as well. I really like the blue one. Red yeah. feels more retro, but I like the, the cool tone. I think of I would have picked the blue. Yeah. And uh, get out of there. Come on. No, nope, you have to get out of there. <laughs> uh, Mark Oberhauser, who does a lot of box designs, yeah. um, did the boxes. Very for that. nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah very nice. nice box. Sorry. Oh, Pac Man Plus. Oh, a trip down memory lane. Mm. Yes. <laughs> There'll be more trips down memory lane in a moment as well the next game uh okay i think that's all the things that i want to say about that one mm -hmm. so let's get into that okay so uh skill level easy players one go for it it is beautiful cartoony bottom there um along the bottom with the thick black outline it looks really really nice yeah that came down fast so, I've got the instructions here. Printed them out. 
Meteors are falling to Earth. Defend Earth's surface. That's Earth's surface? Uh, Earth is in trouble. Um, <laughs> by blasting away at the falling rocks. Ah! Uh, Earth has taken many hits already, it looks like. Yeah. But beware, alien forces have learned what was happening and are taking advantage of our vulnerability to attack. Oh, James, don't forget about hyperspace down on the joystick. So if you're in trouble, press down. And it'll that? warp you. Oh. Almost to death there, but yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Usually I skip the getting started, but that has the controls for pressing down. Pulling back on the joystick will activate hyperspace and move your base to a random position on the bottom of the screen. Use the fire button to shoot at rocks, enemies, and saucers. The moonscape is amazing looking. Pac-Man Red did the lan moon landscape. Pac-Man Red does unbelievable graphics. He is able to pull out amazing graphics, even, especially for the 2600. He does these amazing line-by-line, single-line graphics that are just mind-blowing. That he, like, you can only have one color per line on a sprite, and he's able to, like, almost imply a second color by, by doing these just amazing tricks. Um, and, he does, he, and he's got just loads and loads, pages and pages of sprites. He's got this thread on Atari Age where there's like just genres of sprites. He doesn't even make sprites for specific games. He um, makes just random sprites with themes. Like he's got Halloween themed sprites. We'll miss a bunch. A bunch of scores up there. Oh, found the auto fire. <laughs> He's like, hey, there's not a fire. <laughs> um, these are your targets. Rocks. A small rock gives you twice as many points as a big one. And small rocks that land unhit cost you twice as many points. Oh. So actually it detracts twice the points when it lands. Oh. Is that actually an extra life? Uh, maybe. Okay, past 5,000. Whoa, it's fast now. Uh, spinners. If a spinner lands, it costs you one laser base. Oh, you can't even let a spinner land. I remember that from the original. Have you seen a spinner yet? Yeah, this guy's. Uh, oh, it looks so different on the intelligent. Spinners on the intelligent are like huge and white. Um, uh, dive bombers. These guided missiles try to home in on your base. Remember the yep. back? It's, it was too but close. it's so fast. Uh, and change course as they fall. Dive bombers make a beeping sound as they attack. Those things. Mm -hmm. uh, they're worth eight ro big rocks when hit. So you definitely want to shoot those. Uh, indeed, his contributions made me want to make a game to use his contributions. No kidding, Carl. Uh, he has the using negative space. That's what I was trying to explain. His negative space use is unbelievable. It, it, it almost doubles the graphics. He's able to imply things that aren't there. Have you mastered easy? No, you've been dying. Oh yeah. Okay. Mastered well. <laughs> well, things it, get through. It's a long game so far. Am I only on level two, or is that two? No, that's lives. Ships. That's lives. I think it's cycled through three colors so far. Uh, saucers. When your score is over twenty thousand. Saucers occasionally fly past, dropping bombs on your active base location. You get no points for hitting the bombs, but each saucer is worth 10 large rocks. It's, it's interesting how he expresses the points in rocks. In rocks, yeah. It's because the points for rocks goes up as your levels go up. And your levels are dictated by your score. So if your score drops below, like you're about to switch over, I think, to a new... There you go, 10,000. Uh, I can keep it no. up there. 20,000 is the next uh, threshold. Interesting exchange rate, yes. <laughs> Will you change this saucer for five large rocks? It's worth it. Poor Earth, jeez. No, bombarded. It's just littered with meteor holes all over the place. God. I, I don't know if I like the... No, the scoring worse. system? No, the auto-fire. Oh, because... The timing gets really weird That's sometimes. the trade-off with auto-fire. Yeah. Is that, well, you don't have to press the button constantly. 
but also your timing is not perfect. You can't, you can't time it up. But for something like this, it's, it's, it's not bad. Uh, skill levels. Each skill level starts a player at a different points in the game, including a player's score. On the easy skill level, you start at the very beginning. Rocks and enemies fall slowly, and there are no saucers. On the normal skill level, you start at the 5,000 point mark, where the rocks and enemies fall faster and worth more points. There are still no saucers. On the hard skill level, you start at the 50,000 mark point, where the rocks and enemies fall the fastest to start and are worth even more. The saucer is active at this skill level. Um, scoring is in the top left, yeah. Um, the top right is your current score for the player two. I'm not playing player two, but we will play two players next round. Um, so in your score range, which is 14,000, you're at the third level. Big rocks are worth 30, small rocks are worth 60, spinners are worth 120, dive bombers are worth 240, and UFOs are not there yet. But you're getting very close. Oh, you just got another button. Appears to be every 5,000 points. Yeah. Um, yes, every 5,000. Picture that isn't there can sometimes be another picture. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I actually have a t shirt for the Dead Kennedys. Yeah. That their logo has negative space in that on that t shirt, and that's why yeah. I bought that specific one. Um and it's all raised up, but it's only raised up if you take into account the negative space that's in use. It's just such a cool t shirt I had to get. Um, screen background color changes when the score goes from one range to another. To at least, at least make it to 20,000. So you can see the UFOs in the museum. Oh, I'm getting there. Very close. Ooh, that was close. There's a lot of close. <laughs> a lot of close calls. And the big rocks split into two small Sometimes, rocks. not always. Oh, okay. Depends on the rock, actually. Very colorful rocks. Very nice. Oh. oh! Coming up to 20k, Mighty Funster says. Oh, no. You're gonna die on 19,990. Oh, probably. That's usually how it works. Yeah, just don't take the big risk. Just let it go by. It's getting too close. Well. Go for the easy stuff. Not worth the life. It's not worth your life. And then you never get to 20,000. I'm like lower than I was. So. Oh, a big rock when it lands is worth five. Oh, it look it, it looks like it's worth half when it lands. So you don't you don't lose the exact amount of double. You don't lose double or the same, but it's only half. Oh, so close! Oh, so close! And here comes the UFOs. It's green background. Seems so much like a. Whoa, that's fast now. Oh, you're back below. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, here comes the UFOs. Ah! Oh, oh my god. It. Oh, my god. oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. No pressure. <laughs> like, hit it. I'm hit like, it. no. Hit it. Run away. Well, Run if you away. hit it, it'll stop shooting at you. Oh, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yes. Nice. Nice one. Those are all the instructions. I'm not going to read it's off all the scores. It's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah. Shoots at you. It's not really shooting it shoots generally. near you. It's not very accurate. Maybe it's anticipating your moves. It must be. I always love that you can regress in this game. That's such an yeah. interesting mechanic that you can lose score. You can go to zero in this game if you start dodging everything and start right from zero. Oh, it doesn't go into the negatives. Anymore. Does it go to the negatives, um, Pac-Man Plus? Damn, that's fast firing. Whoa! Those guys are deadly now. Those do hone in on you. God, they get lower and lower yeah. as, as you go through. Oh. oh. Ah! There's no break. There's no break. Yeah, it's no lower down the screen. All gas, no brakes. Uh... <laughs> uh it's a nice feature, but it's also disheartening to lose points while you're losing your last ah. ship. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, you lose your last ship and you lose points losing your last ship. That is pretty... Whoa, that was close. Last life or not. Ah, uh, I see. You shouldn't have said last life or I wouldn't have... 25, <laughs> 150. Okay, we're going to play the two-player game. Oh, okay. My hand's sore. You want to play a level? No. Off easy? Uh, I'll play hard. Yeah. My hand's so just die. a little sore. That's why I was like trying to stretch out totally my hands. Unscrewed. I know, I'm good. I'm good for that. Hi, sir. So we did get you the have right away. Oh my god. Oh, I think you did. Yes. Ooh. We'll see about that. I feel a little heavy. Have we made it to the, the second treat? Yeah, yeah. He had okay. his treats. Will treat we time. make it to the third treat time? No. I don't think so. Mm. We'll see. So this starts at 50,000, so I've already been <laughs> Not no, even, doesn't not count. Even close. You have to survive fifty thousand. Hi, hi, sir. Hi. Well, sometimes they don't go for you. Sometimes they're just so far away on the other side of the screen they can't. I guess it depends on um, how quickly they can go from left to right if they can make it to you. Oh, got an extra life, and can I get it again? If I Cross the threshold? No, it keeps track. <laughs> you could just um, like fudge it, like mm. oh, I got an extra life, and then I lost a couple points. Then I got an extra life. Oh, I lost a couple points. So it actually keeps track of you got a life at fifty-five thousand. You got a life at sixty thousand. Because I could go to zero. Well, actually, it doesn't. It only needs to keep track of one. Where you got the last life it doesn't have to keep track. <laughs> because otherwise you can just keep getting a bunch of lives over and over. What? Just, what? Oh, what? You, when you go back and forth. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Because you can lose points in this game. Yeah. It's, uh, it's manageable at this level. Yeah. I'm sure I can... So I can see why people would want to start... At a higher level. At a higher level. So they, they get all the, all the... Get the easy stuff gone. Well, they can start with the harder enemies. Yeah. And you like literally start at the 50,000 mark. Yeah. Because you're at that level. You have you know, those many lives. It's, it's that hard. So really can, you can jump into this game at any score and that's like legitimately where you would be at mm -hmm. 50,000. Which is also, what hit me? Again, what hit me? There was nothing near I, I me. I don't know. I didn't even see. There's like things that I are... I looking at the screen. Things that are hitting me that I didn't even... Was it that guy? No, the UFO wasn't on the screen. I thought I heard him, but... Unless he just came on the screen and, and shot just you? shot me. You let the spinner hit the ground. You can't, you can't let oh, the spinner hit the ground. That's, that's insta-death. That's why I'm yeah. like, what's killing me? What's killing me? So I died twice in a row because Yeah, you have to kill the spinners. See, I didn't, that, you have I, to kill that. Yeah, they're so slow, though. Yeah, they're usually you, hard to not kill. I didn't listen to my own. Oh, oh, see. oh, they're so fast now. That's why. That's hard. Oh, okay. Okay, that is hard. So we, what should we play? Normal? Mm, or easy? Not easy. Or hard? It would take too long. I would say hard at... at and keep is going. it cooperative? Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's see. cooperative. Okay. We can't shoot to the side. Oh! Oh, no, no. You didn't? No? No, I think we have to do a different. Keep going. There we go. There we go. Oh, no! I think you can go left. There we go. I am on the right. Tanya's on the left. And we get separate oh. scores. What hit? What just. What happened to me there? There's no spinner. <laughs> Weird, weird. Okay, that I saw. <laughs> yeah, hyperspace. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. But usually I'm trying to kill something into the last minute, and then I just don't bother with hyperspace because it's too late. Oh! So do I keep shooting? Oh, I do keep shooting. I keep playing on an empty field, pretty much. Ah! You actually lost points. Five points. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Well, neither of us did very well. Let's try normal. I think the debris from the first ship hit you. Okay. Yeah, a little bit further back. 
pathetic. I tracked that rock all the way down and die. So if a spinner hits the ground, do we both die? I would think so. It's like it's like it's your both. It's both yeah. your fault. Neither of you hit it. Yeah, exactly. You, you both should get killed for that. <laughs> yes. You have double the shots, and none of you hit it. Pathetic. Uh, <sighs> so there's something in the Stratton instructions about stealing other people's ships' lives? Or something like that. Oh, see, I died. The debris hit me. I'm sure our ships are different. That's interesting. It's hmm. another it way to differentiate. To because the colors are fairly close-ish. Because I'm kind of... Or we are kind of the same color. Oh, the Terrible. debris from your ship hit me? I think so. Oh my god. Hey, hey, oh. It's off screen. No, if they go off screen, they're okay. Okay. Because <laughs> that happened to me a lot when I was playing. We'll start. Hmm? One more. Yeah. One more normal. We push up against each other, don't we? Do we? No, nope. oh. we can cross. That's always a fun option. <laughs> Pushing yeah. the other person. Yeah, I know, I was like... Then it's not cooperative. You can mess somebody up. You need social distance. Yeah, when you explode, I need to... Actually, you do want to stay away from each other. Yeah. The explosion is quite large. It's like a quarter of the screen. Oh, uh, yeah, there's more to read. I make so many notes for the show. Oh, yeah. Um, that I never read out. But one of them was somebody was asking um, Bob about using the paddle for this game. Oh. Because the 2600 had joystick and paddle control. Um, but he said I'd never played the 2600 version. And this was completely based off the Intellivision version, which did not have... Paddle option. Didn't even have a paddle. Um, so... Um, so it, it, he never... He didn't plan on making it have a, a paddle control. There's some people visibly upset. Oh. <laughs> but... You know, it's, well. it's not what he set out to do. Because um, it would play so differently with a paddle. Like, you could just zoom across the screen to anywhere you wanted on the screen. But also, it wouldn't be as precise at the same time. I mean, it'd be precise and not precise, but right now I can, like, just move a little bit and then get something. Mm. Or strafe. Paddle might make it too easy. It, it actually might, because you'd be like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Moving there, there, there. This paddle is so precise. As long as you have the memorization of spatial awareness. The memorization? I don't know what you'd call that. It, it'd be the same s skill as a fretless instrument using the paddle. Because, or a trombone. A trombone, right. where you have to memorize the placement. You have to memorize the placement. Yeah. Like with a paddle, there's no clicks, there's no left, right. It's like, where on this paddle does it, does it correspond to on the screen? And you have to, you just, you just learn that by, by playing each game. And they're different, uh, movements in relation to where you are on the screen. Astro Blast is hard without a paddle on 2600. Oh, okay, so that's why they put that option in. I mean, this is very fair on the joystick. Oh, it is! Because he based it off of a joystick-specific one. I don't know what do you call that thing on the television. Um, a dial? What do they call it? Anybody know? What do they call that little paddle? Is it a paddle? But it's not a paddle. But do they call it a paddle? It's, spinner. it's like a 16-way joystick. 
shot for the answer. This is too easy. At normal? Yeah. Yeah, we have to get. When does it change? 15,000? Uh, is that when 20. the UFO comes? 20 is when We'll play to the UFO. Sure. It's fun. Yeah. It is Very a fun game. It's soothing, kind it, of, in a weird way. Because it's not overly taxing at this no. level. Well, because the score is separate, we get extra lives at different times. Yes. So does it change to the UFO when the first person gets 20? I don't see a UFO, so maybe we both... No, 20. 20. I mean, the, the color 16. of the screen would change. Yeah, yeah, so we're not there yet. No, I was thinking 15, but it's not. No, it's 20. I'm getting there. Quickly. So when something hits the ground in this, does everybody lose the score? I'm guessing. So No, yeah. you you do. Oh, when it hits the ground? Yeah, we would both it lose must. that point. So stop letting things hit the ground on your side. Hey! Stop letting things hit the ground on your side. So I seem to be losing points all the, all the time. <laughs> I'm trying to get up to twenty, but it just keeps going down. And I'm destroying everything on my side. Driving control? No, it's not called the driving control. 18. Oh. The first person to reach 20,000 starts the UFO, I thought. Okay. That, that would only make it. Well, you could make it so the second person. Yeah, that would the take last longer, person. though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Both died. I, no, it hit me. I mean, the shrapnel me, took me out. And then the shrapnel took me out. <laughs> Watch your own side there. 18-7. It's always when things just come down too fast that you're like, ah, I'm gonna die. Nineteen, nineteen three. Oh, lost some Five, almost. Twenty UFO time. You brown UFOs. Ah. Well, that was close. I don't think I hit it. Just about hit me. Where's the UFOs? I got one. Oh, oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, you shot it so I quick, I didn't away. even see it. Yeah. Yeah, the UFOs are going to be a lot easier with two people because it comes more, from one side shot. or the other. Yeah. And I'll clear mine, and you clear yours on your side. Twenty. Yay. Okay, we'll stop. We'll stop, we'll stop now. Yeah. And done. <laughs> awesome. Really fun game, actually. It, with two players. Oh, it, I love it, Astro Smash. It makes it really, Slash really good. Meteor, me, what is it? Meteor shower. Meteor yeah. shower. Yeah. Yeah, that's such a fun game. It's such a relaxing. It's a weirdly relaxing game, even though it's fairly frantic. It's just moving back and forth, strafing, hitting the asteroids. Very fun. Yes, Muddy Funster, add it to your retro gaming night. I think that's a really fun um, yeah. thing to put. It is. Mm. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to be playing next uh, Ms. Hack by Kurt Howe, aka Nuki Shea. So this is a hack of a hack of a game. Mm. So it originally started out as Pesco, which was one of the original homebrew games on the 2600. And then it was made into Hackem by New Quiche, and then it was made into Ms. Hack. Mm. Um, actually, I have to switch the joysticks because I knew we were playing a bunch of two player games. Here we go. Thank you. Come here, Atari. Come here. Come play video games with us. Uh, oh, we'll take we Pixel go. too. Come on, Pixel. I don't think I have anything to show on this one. No. Okay. Oh, pixel. There you can see the. So I'm running this through the retro tank, so you mm. can see the the problem that this one has at the top there. 
goes boot. Oh, it curve. does go over a little, yeah. And there's is a little bit of glitchiness as well, mm. which is probably related to that. But um, okay, so uh, go for it. Uh, this build is from August nineteenth, two thousand nine. It's a sixteen k game. Uh, so this loads like a uh, arcade game. Okay. Blinky, Jump. Pinky, Inky, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Sue. Uh, Ten points, fifty points for the power pellet. Nice. Um, so this is a really, really good version of Ms. Pac-Man. Gotcha. Um, so Looks Kurt like Howe first posted. Oh, what does? The, the, the face looks like a. Teddy oh, it bear. does. Eyes and a mouth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Skunkworks said first posted in 2005, May 19th. Speaking of Hackam, has anybody thought of creating a new Ms. Hackman based on the code? New Cliche replied, I had started to, but pretty much gave up on the idea since it really didn't add anything to the innovation of the game. The moving fruit is only partially done because they don't have any RAM space to hold this position. Uh, oh my god, he moved so fast. Yeah. Is he supposed to? Ah, move this fast. Yep. My all-time favorite of his hacks is Missile Command Arcade with the trackball, track and field controller support closely followed by his Space Invaders hack. So we'll be playing definitely the Missile Command Arcade with a trackball and track and field controller because that's so cool. Um, oh my gosh. Ugh! It's not handling it. Kind of glitching a bit. It is very glitchy. They move fast and slow. Wow. Um, then on June 17, 2006, new working demo of this still needs quite a bit of work. It's pretty buggy. That's what he said about this one. This seems to be okay. Um, two other developers whose games we ah. played tonight <laughs> uh, posted in so the fast. same thread. Hmm. Pac Man Plus said about this game I actually worked on Ms. Pac Man Hack for the Arcade. With Dave Waddell. He did most of the work. I changed the graphics and added the incremented point value table for the 3200 point monster. So basically, now Ms. Pac Man with the exact same difference as Pac Man Plus did to Pac Man. I even changed the maze colors as well. I've never seen the arcade that way. By the way, I absolutely love what you did with the multicolored sprites. They look so good now. What is it every other frame you display one shape, then the other alternating frame? What a great idea. You're a genius. The speed seems crazy fast. Um, and then also, Daryl 1970 replied as well, back in 2007. I, I have to say, this is awesome. I love to see this ancient hardware doing things I would never have imagined before. This is an excellent port of Miss Pac-Man. I still remember getting my first copy of 2600 Pac-Man. Mum was making hamburgers that night. We were eating in the living room. My parents let me turn... Uh, the Atari on so I could watch it while I ate. I remember staring at it wondering what this huge flashing thing were in the center box. I still play it like crazy listening to Pac-Man Fever for sound effects. I wonder how my life would have changed if I would have popped this game in. I'm kind of glad it happened the way it did else I wouldn't have had the same appreciation. Great oh, work. Gosh. I think the difficulty switch controls the speed. Oh. Yes, it must be on super crazy speed. any instructions for this. So. Oh, let's try this one. Both and A. That's normal. Okay. That's not super crazy speed. I mean, that was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pac-Man Plus. I, I couldn't find any instructions for this game. I mean, the threads were massive. And I kind of added this last minute. There's a couple of glitches. It's a little glitchy. I could switch over to the Frame Meister. It's, uh, it's able to handle the 2600 pretty well. Get him. Old strawberry. Um, oh, uh, this is about the current version. A bunch more space saved. The pause text will now show up in intermissions too. Previous version got stuck on the title screen when we displayed it. This has been fixed. The time frame for a double fruit sound has been shortened. So we really didn't 
I, I don't know if this is like a final version, but this is the last version made of this. Nice rendition of its opening thing. You're almost dead. <laughs> Very close. Sometimes you wait. If you yep. move, you're like, let's see where this goes. <gasps> it's got the interstitials. Oh, oh my god. I love it. Great music, too. Oh, they bumped. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> Nostalgic said, this is a really cool hack. I like that there was a Hangly Man version. Yeah, there's a bunch of different versions on this mm. as well. And you can't just do as many ghosts. Because <laughs> you're slow. Yeah, the fast was kind of fun. A little out of control, but very fun. Look at the fruit bouncing around. It's so awesome. I think I'm gonna switch over to the Frame Meister. Yeah? Yeah, it's it's so bouncy and glitchy. Oh, free life! Hurrah! No, oh, run, run, run! Hey, MK Smith! Made again, he says. That's okay. You made it. Get you orange! Ha <laughs> ha! Got it? Nice. So we're playing uh, Kurt House slash New Quiche's Mizhack. In honor of him. And next Tuesday we'll be playing all his games. Not all his games. We'll oh, be, be a playing nice a whole bunch chunk. of his games. <laughs> We're playing all 120 of his games. It's a three day. <laughs> three day marathon. No sleep. Fueled by uh, chips and candy. And <gasps> Ooh, I like it. Like it? Yes, okay. let's do it. We'll do that. You call him sick. <laughs> Oh, it's a pretzel! Ooh, call them sick because you're full of chips and candy. I and know. Pop. They love that. They love that. <laughs> yeah. Get it. 72 hour stream. That's that's a long stream. Oh, that was close. Um, yeah, it is sad. Holy shit, I'm really good at this. <laughs> I'm not as good. I'm. I'm by the way, thanks to ZPH for tweeting in the change in time for tonight. Otherwise, I'd be coming in this just now. Did I tweet the change? Well, I tweeted about the, the start show. time. I'm sure. Yeah, I, I put it in. I didn't. I should have said alert, alert. The change, the time is alert, 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 alarm, alert. 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 <laughs> what is it? Alarm. Alert. 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 <laughs> that's what you have to do from now on. Alert. 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 Actually, that's I, I, what it should be when the cats. It's time to feed the cats. No, I like alert. The, I'm alert. gonna use alert for something else. Alert. Um, I'm gonna use it for either there's something wrong with the stream, or oh, really so short. something else. So I have to do, oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh. Corner. Doing really well. I like I like that. Dun, 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 dun. One day we'll have to do an all Pac-Man day. Oh. So great. Of all the 7800 games that um, Pac Man Plus has done. Just no. put them all in oh, one. No. Oh, no! Sometimes you get lucky. Oh, Mighty Funster's off. Good night. This flashback portable hacks were so good. I used to travel slash fly so much for work and always had my AFP with me loaded with his hacks. Yeah, super handy. I do have one. I've never used it. take it on the next trip. I think uh, Brian Mathern has like an Atari flashback portable. Oh, bastard. Other way around. Um, has a pack of all the games that are compatible with the Atari flashback portable all in one. Oh, Pac-Man Plus is gone. Yep. Have a good, have a good night. night. Oh, good night, second crunchy. intermission. Awesome. Oh, a little bit faster now. Oh, more than a little bit faster. Oh, 
like it when they get too fast. Change it back pretty fast. Oh, they change. Too. You may, might get one. Oh, they're faster than you as well now. Oh, I hate that. Oh, pair. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh. Ah, through came through out of the nowhere. Tunnel. Oh man! Now Stalgic says I pull mine out every now and then. I use. I have to track down some of those hacks. Yeah, check with Brian Mather and. I'm pretty sure, I know he keeps track of them, but I'm pretty sure he... Oh, oh you bastards. No. <laughs> Has like a pack of them somewhere. Game over. No, we haven't played the ABBUC game Fallen Kingdom yet. I want to... Well, we're going to probably play a bunch of them when they come out, when they're actually released. Are they, They're not released yet, are they? Because I thought you're not allowed to release the ABBUC games until they're judged. Okay. So, there are different variations of this. Um, Broadcaster got lost. Is this on a 2600? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Miss Hack 2. I'm going to switch over to the Freight Meister because this is driving me crazy. Should be on the right input because I don't really use any. Use it for anything but this. Oh, still powering up. <laughs> there we go. So much better. Cleaner too. Mm -hmm. Okay. My turn. So what's the difference with this version? I don't know. I couldn't find info. Info. Moving faster, moving slower. Oh. Well, I should have. You should have died. Is this, uh... Infinite! Infinite level! You should have died. Maybe it was, like, just... Oh, this is Hangly oh. Man. Oh! What is it? Hangly Man, which I am Hangly not... Man? I don't know anything about the variations. I'm oh, really? so ignorant about that. But some... On this, I believe, sometimes not all of... Oh, they all disappeared. Um, Pac-Man Plus? Whoa! Isn't it Pac-Man Jr. that has, like, those funny ghosts with the uh, hair, hair on top of their heads, or, I don't know. Pac-Man Jr. is... Isn't it Pac-Man Jr.? No. Not Baby Pac-Man. No, Ooh. not Baby Pac-Man. Oh, it just has... Oh, my God. Uh-oh. It's James's favorite! Dark Mazes! Dark Mazes! There's a lot of variations in this, this game. Right oh, now. yeah. Oh, God. Run away, run away, run away! Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Mm, I use the power button now. Right. I'll just head up for the dots. I need it. Oh, you got first. And these two. Nope. And one of them didn't change. Oh. See? One of them didn't change. Oh, every time you get it, something is off. Something's a little different. Nice. Like it rotates. Yeah. Yeah, Pac-Man Plus, sometimes one ghost doesn't change. Also, the fruit acts as an energizer, but turns the ghosts invisible, though they're worth double points. Oh, like they're still wow. around? fruit? The fruit when they go invisible? Wow. Actually, this is nice because you have to press the button to start, so you can actually take a break. I do levels. like that, yeah. I prefer, definitely prefer games where you can, like, stretch okay. out your hand if you have to. Having trouble? Yeah, I, I was having trouble actually. too. <laughs> I think the when it was on super fast, I was like, I could not turn around corners. I was like, ah. The sensitivity is a bit high. In interesting. Yeah. Or low. Or low. Yeah, exactly. I'm it not doesn't sure. give you much leeway. No. I want that orange. That orange goes. Burr, 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 oh, they're burr. all gone. It makes the noise you would expect an orange to make if it was sentient and moving around wah, 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 and bouncing wah, around wah, the screen, wah, wah, wah. kind of like a basketball. Double points. Oh, I, I don't know where I am and I can't move properly. Uh, oh, they're still going. <gasps> oh, mar, 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 mar. Now I remember when this came out, it was mind blowing after Pac Man. Yeah, this would. I mean, it came. this came out like 15 years ago almost. So I can see why people are like, wow, okay. What? The guy near me didn't change. I can see why people would be blown away with this version. And irritated by the. Irritated. That doesn't disappear. This side while I have a chance first. 
Let's see what I don't happens. know what's gonna happen. I don't want a dark maze. That's all I care about. Oh, the one closest to you doesn't change. Oh, I'm not going for that. Yep. Tell it. I'm gonna wait Be for done. One. No, no, he might not change. He doesn't. See? Is it the closest one or uh, the it's orange the closest one? one? It's the closest one. Because it was orange both times. So, so you don't really want to get the, the pellet when it's really close then. Yeah. That's true. Like, don't get it when they're close to you. The closest yeah. one or the red one. Well, or... It changed so fast. It almost doesn't matter. Maybe it's the red one. Just get the pellet. Like, don't wait till they're close. Cause... I think it's the orange one. The red one? No, nope. and this time it's... Random. Random. Oh, Put you on your toes. I'm getting used to the joystick controls now. Yeah, you, you, you do this. Give me it. 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 Pretzel, oh. pretzel. Get that bouncing pretzel. It doesn't look like it has enough, enough salt. <laughs> no, no little do dots of salt. Pretzel. Not enough graphics salt for salt. That'd be so nice. Giving mustard. Mmm. It's what we buy at the PRG. When we go yeah, there. we always get pretzels. Yeah. so yummy. Oh, they gotcha. Trapped me. Pretzels now. Pretzels for pretzels dinner. Pretzels for dinner? Okay. Find some place that makes pretzels. Mm -hmm. Or dinner. No, we're, we're going to pass it. Yes. Oh, double points. No. Normal points, because I can see them. Yeah. Double points when you when find you're... invisible ones. Somehow, you can get invisible go, ones. Go, 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 go. <gasps> down, 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 down. It's right there. There you go. This is a really good version. It is this good is version. This is a really good version. Probably because I'm doing okay. Not okay. Um, um. Mm -hmm. I expected that completely. Oh my god. Don't even bother. Super fast, yeah. Don't even bother going after the ghosts. Use it. Just keep moving. Oh. Yeah. Come here. There he is. Oh, they went invisible. There they are. Oh, they. Oh, they. They, they it go was invisible, like... but they change. They. It's like you took a power pellet. Yep. Yeah. And there were well, double good. points because they're invisible. Okay, last one. Head for the dots, which I can't see. Yay! Next and level! Act two, the chase. We're chasing each other. Oh. Skip, skip. It's nice because they're using Ms. Pac-Man as the solid doing the bow and oh. the Pac-Man as the second. Oh, it's so fast. Yeah. They're moving so fast. And I'm so slow in comparison. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. This that it's bottom part too is like it's such a pain. Deadly trap. They're dead, deadly. Deadly, deadly. Oh. I know it's the controls I messed up sometimes. On the controls. Yeah. Super cool. Oh. Yeah, I do. I'll, That's so good. I want to play it fast. Okay. Oh, the fast is so. It's hard though because. Turning is hard, it's so precise. Do the fast, the fast There's is so, so much fun. Options. Yeah. Mean, you can pick one ghost, too. There's what? There's for one ghost. Or is, is it fast one ghost? That would be so I don't know. Fun. You won't get as many points, though. Miz attack. Is that what it said? Yeah. Oh, you need to fast change it. Should be, it's only one ghost. So fast. So fast. That apple. Oh, I do almost. oh, it's going through walls. <laughs> the apple went through a wall. Bug. Oh, another apple. It's going through a wall. Oh, it's, it's following a completely different maze. Oh, it is. <laughs> That's the problem. 
It does its like, own thing. Uh, I, you see this maze, I see another maze. <laughs> Oh, way too far. Yeah, he, they have to be really close. Oh. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. Not a bug. Ms. Pac-Man attacked different mazes from Ms. Pac-Man, but kept the fruit movement the same. Oh. Wow. It's not a bug, it's a feature. It works. That's funny. That is very different. Well, so you yeah. can't just follow it. No. You have to be like, oh, it's going to do Anticipate weird things. Anticipate where it's going. Oh, see, that's moving super fast now. So I guess the one the one ghost means the ghost moves really fast. Look at that. It's in the wall. That's so it's funny. It's in the wall. <laughs> that is funny. Cool for um, beginners of playing this because there's only one ghost. Yeah, but the ghost moves bloody fast. Yeah. yeah. Oops. <laughs> He's too fast. <laughs> Did not anticipate his speed. <laughs> it happens. Come on. It happens. It happens to the best. Don't be ashamed. No. Extra light? Come on. Come on. Come on down here. No. I'll just finish. Now he's fast. Banana level. What is it? Banana level? It looks green. It looks like a jalapeno. Jalapeno level. And it's a banana. No, it's not a banana. It does look like a pepper, doesn't it? Flashing green at the top, but I think it's because it's flipping between yellow and Nothing. and black. black. Yeah. yeah, that is funny. Come on. And the difference is he's a specific type of come on, of ghost that does a different pattern. Like he doesn't trace he doesn't directly chase after you. you unless he's close to you. I think. So if you're far away, he'll just be like. Doing something. This is, this is a very good version. There you go. Oh. Last one. Is he going to come over? Oh, no. <laughs> the man at the top is more, more ripe. More ripe, yeah. Yeah, so it's going black. R&D. Random. Oh, is it? Random fruit. Interesting. What did we get? Yeah, woo, woo, pretzel. Yum, 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 yum. Hey, get back. Oh, come on. <laughs> he slows right down when he's a ghost. Classic. I wonder what Champ Games' philosophy on is on arcade bugs. Should you recreate them in the port? No. He, or he, patch. I.e., can you dodge shots in Galagon on level two to initiate the no enemy fire bug? No. He 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 doesn't follow the hard and fast rule of the arcade of recreating the bugs and stuff. I've asked I asked him that in an interview. Oh, that was a good end. That was a very good end. Um, he just makes it fun for the. For the home console, um, he, he tries to recreate. He creates the recreates a feel, I believe, but not like the exact perfect movement. Like this happens here with this bug. Very dark cherries. Um, Very dark red. I can see it being fun both ways, recreating bugs and, uh, Almost missed him. or just doing fun things. I mean, he'll add in his own fun things. Come on. You want to go over there? Come here. Come here. Oh, 
It's, it's really easy with one ghost. It is, actually. And fast movement. Oh! Oh! It's baby Pac-Man. Junior! Oh, Pac -Man Junior. it's Junior Pac-Man. That's more baby Pac-Man. He just got delivered. Because there's Junior Pac-Man. Yes, that's true. And baby Pac-Man. And Junior has the whizzy yes. whirly bird on his head, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, my God. What What is happening with our... Oh, there we go. Um, excellent. That's a really fun game. If you're looking for a good Pac-Man game, I would highly suggest that one. Oh, I forgot to read people's names out at the beginning of the show. Oh, well, we can do it at the end. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Um, Hello, it's Cardboard treat time. Yum, it's yum, treat time. Oh, oh, you you're lucky. Oh, this is round three. Lucky cat. That cat. Look how excited they are. Just, okay. Just snuck it in. Just snuck in the cat cam. That the cat can. That the cat treats. Treat time. Oh, goodness, there we go. All right. The cats thank you, a cardboard box. Yes. Oh, he rang it. Oh, he touched it. I didn't hear it. It's Did he ring noise. it? There's noise outside, so he's he's like, what just happened? Are you going <laughs> to... <laughs> Come on. Distracted. Ring they it. forget there are other people in the house. Yeah. They're like, oh, my God, who's that? Yeah. Do they have treats? <laughs> Bring it. Come on. Atari. Ring your bell. Here. Here's one for you. Get him Good going. Idea. Yeah. Get him salivating. Yep. His Pac-Man 8K is great too. Yes, it is. Yeah. We might play that one mm. next Tuesday. But oddly, a lot of dedicated DK players won't consider a port accurate if it doesn't include the hidden points for jumping Kong's foot on the blue girder levels. Mm -hmm. I can understand that. I mean, it's... it's it depends on... Is that on a bug or is that part of the game? I guess it's, it's a bug. If it's bug or right? gameplay is kind yeah. of what it comes... Oh, good kitty. good kitty. One for you. Here's another one. Over here. Oh, no. Oh, He's... Pixel, you need to come on camera. <laughs> He's cute. He's hiding. Why is... Where are you hiding? Ring the bell. Sorry. So, <laughs> we have some upcoming shows. Actually, I can put it on here. I don't know why I always put it over there and not show people. It's not for you, Atari. Oh my goodness, he's eating all of Pixel's treats. If a bug persists long enough, it becomes gameplay. That's, that's true. Yeah. Pretty sure yeah. it's a bug. Yeah, because why would you get points for jumping near Donkey Kong's foot? Uh, in the arcade, but once it was found, it's considered to be hidden points or something. I noticed the DK Arcade remake on the Intellivision does include this, for instance. So it's it's just such a well-known thing. It's almost like part of the game. Good kitties. Good kitties. Yes. So uh, All done. here's what's coming up. So many treats. Very small. <laughs> so many treats. So there's no show this coming Friday. That's right. Um, so don't bother tuning in. <laughs> there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. um, but the next Tuesday will be Kurt Howe Tribute Stream. Yes. Uh, that's the normal time on Tuesday, mm -hmm. 6 p.m. Uh, the next one after that, possibly Scramble and Tie Pilot. That might get bumped. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Might be some more exciting games coming up. Uh, there is a surprise Atari 7800 reveal, mm -hmm. a secret game. Uh, made by M.K. Smith coming up. Exclusive premiere of a new game. Very, very, very fun. Yes, a surprise. Um, and and he's working on another one after that, which is blows my mind. But you can't talk about it? No. <laughs> it's mind-blowing. Everyone will go insane cool. for that one. Cool. And it already plays so well. Yeah, but it's a it's a big game. I, I don't know when he'll want to reveal that one. Yeah, yeah, big big game. Um, and there's also a something I want to set up as well. It's going to be an eight bit show, specifically focusing on one developer. Mm. Um, and we might get them here as well. Oh, actually, um, and that surprise Atari eight seven eight hundred reveal, uh, M Matt Smith will be joining us. 
Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Who, uh, live via video nice. as well. So talking about his Very new cool. game. Very cool. Which is always fun when you have a surprise reveal. Yeah. Like we've, been, like we've done with uh, John Champo and yeah. Champ Games. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. In television, you have to slot that in there yes. somewhere. <laughs> and the Intellivision as well, which is yeah. coming back in uh, about a week. A week, yeah. Um, so I'll slot that one. I'm sure I, I will, I'll bump this because uh, that's just something I, I can keep bumping because they're not new games. Okay. Um, they're just fun games that I want to play because they're shooters. <laughs> What's that cat up to? I don't know. Just checking. No he's good. not chewing cords because he's a cord chewer. So, so. I'll be uh, working on trying to figure out which games I'm okay. going to be playing for the Intellivision. I've got two Jump King Jr. Okay. And Intellivania. Oh, so cool. So those two. Intellivania is pretty big. Yeah. And I'm. I love Jump Man Jr., which is Jump King Jr. Jump King, okay. So it might just be those two. Okay. Mm, if, if they take a, a while, a then it might be two. Might be enough. Yeah. Yeah, or I'll be terrible at them because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to that disc. Oh that, that yeah. Disc controller. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very different, but uh, Crossbow says my disc controller is quite good. Oh, good. So it's 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 a competent controller. Yeah, I would love to get the joystick add-on that you can get for it. It's a little joystick that sticks to the pad. Yeah. And it acts as a, a joystick controller. Mm. You roll the disc around for control. Mm. You know, rolling, rolling it around. That is the stickler. Mm. Is that what it's called? It's the official name is the stickler. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just a little joystick that sticks on. Um, but it has stickiness to it, so I'd be worried about it like taking the paint off or whatever it is on there. Yep, I've got one of uh, on my SVA controllers. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple of those joysticks as well. Mm -hmm. In television, with the system changers, you can play 2600 games. How does that work through an RGB modded system? Uh, the system changer for the Intellivision. Like, there's a little add-on mm -hmm. that you can put a 2600 games into that it slots into the Intellivision, and it, you can literally just play... 2600 games mm -hmm. um paint rubbing off it doesn't oh, okay cool maybe somebody makes aftermarket 3d printed versions of those now i can get some because mm -hmm. i don't particularly like that disc yeah on the yeah. television it i find it imprecise yeah like left is kind of like you have to guess where left is because it goes in 16 like all directions mm -hmm. it's omnidirectional System changer will no longer work on the RGB, especially since I removed the RF modulator and put the RGB jack in its place. Crossbow, you wrecked. <laughs> what? You wrecked my television? No. I have other Intellivisions. And why would I even play a 2600 game through an Intellivision? I don't know. Silliness. Um, so that's uh, the games coming up, and there's other ones that are you know in the wings there. Um, so, thank you for hanging out, everyone, on a Tuesday afternoon slash evening. Yes. Uh, and it, it was even earlier, not early enough for Europeans to kind of yes. tune in before going to kind bed. Of before bedtime, yes. Mm -hmm. It's always good. Mm. Pass through. Uh, I figure we'd never use a system changer for his 2600 games, giving his RGB, yeah, and other ways to play. No, I would not use my television. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us, Crossbow, Captain Classic, Nostalgic 26, S. Ramirez 2008, uh, Sarah Chikorita. Thank you for joining. Carl G. Mm -hmm. A Cardboard Box, Vitoko, It's Kev 73, uh, Phaser Thank Cat Games, uh, Metal Lunar 7, mm -hmm. OXC, OX Coffee. M.K. Smith. Or Ox Coffee. Ox Coffee. Um, yeah, probably. Let's go Ox Coffee. Ox Coffee. <laughs> uh, Pac-Man Plus. Thank Mike. you for making a Meteor Shower. Mm -hmm. Mike Soul. Uh, uh, Money Funster. Yeah, Rod, Rod Cass. Lots of names in the chat yeah, today. It's lots great. Lots of chatting. Lots of chatting. Who else? Charles Wheeland. Anybody else? Jedekiah. Jedekiah. Uh, and Jazz, Jazan, PL. Uh, wow, lots of names. Did we run out? We have run out. Yes. Let's see if there's any lurkers Ooh. that came out. Mike Soul. There we go. Yeah, you missed most of the show. Yeah. No, he he was in earlier. <laughs> okay. Well, it's like six twenty nine, so people tuning in at six o'clock. Yeah. True. Are like, oh, what? That's it? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yeah, we did it earlier today so that uh, Daryl Daryl could join. could join us yes. for his game and answer questions yes. about Pingo. Yeah, which was super fun. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to playing it again as he advances, uh, yeah. going through it. Going to be VOD boy today. Yeah, VOD boy. <laughs> VOD day. How about that? Video on demand. Uh, yep, and Red and Ghost. Ghost. Yay. There we go. Yeah. So we're going to be back on uh, not Friday. We're going to be back on next Tuesday with a special Kurt Howe. Uh, Nuki Shea tribute nice. show yeah. playing a bunch of his games remember to suggest your favorite ones in the hacks section of the forum there's a post there you'll see it at the top mm. and uh, we'll miss you on Friday we'll miss you too as well mm-hmm. we love playing these games but taking out. a little break but we'll be back so. yeah we'll yeah. be back shortly I've arrived Cafe Man and it's over <laughs> you ruined it <laughs> yep. now that you're here we're stopping the show yeah. Did you see that someone added a section of his hacks on the plus card? Oh, yes. that's good. We'll be talking about that on the show on Tuesday. I did nice. see that. So very easy access on the plus card. Mm-hmm. Um, there's about 20, 25 there. Wow. Right now. Okay. So a good, a good portion. Um, I mean, there's like 120 of his games. So mm-hmm. I'm sure they'll be added as it goes along. So if you've got a plus card, go visit that section and mm-hmm. practice up on his games. Revisit some of your uh, games. Oh, you finally got a plus card. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. You can chat on it online. <laughs> the chat, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can access games that are on your computer. You can mm-hmm. store games on it. You can play homebrews that people have posted to the repository. Yeah, plus yep. card rules. I actually did leave a message on the chat. Yeah. It's a bit awkward to chat very fast, but it's a yeah. very it's cool It's still option. really cool. Yeah. It's still really cool, yeah. Someone needs to make a recreate a uh, add-on keyboard. Oh, for the 2600? I mean, it does have one. Does but it? But it's super, super rare that nobody has. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, the Graduate. It's okay. so rare. Oh, like, yeah? Don't bother trying wow. to find it. Hmm. Um, cool. So you somebody needs to make new a new today. one. Yeah. <laughs> it, it plugs into, I think, both joystick ports. Oh, I see. So you, can, you can't play anything. You can just type. Yeah. Were there games made for it or functions? It was made for um, Atari Basic, so you could program oh, okay. with it. I believe so that would make sense I believe so that would make yeah. sense yeah but I did it before registering the card so it doesn't show my username mm. yeah. so it's time for dinner for us yes uh, usually we eat dinner before but now it's dinner yeah. after dinner after the FujiNet yes FujiNet card oh if, if you can see I um, I've got both the AVG card and the Fuji card in right so I've got the AVG card and, and the Fuji card, and you just hold down that button, and it'll go from the AVG card booting up to the FujiNet card. So I can use both. Oh, cool. It's really, really awesome. Oh, oh, scheduled reboot. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, it's the end of the show. It's all yep. good. <laughs> I have the keypad for basic. Yay. Fidoko was asking earlier how you have that working. Oh, was he? Well, there you go. Yeah. Answered it unprompted. Yeah, on the AVG card, you hold down this, um, and I think to bypass the FujiNet, you hold down Option as you boot it up. So if you want to bypass both, you have to go like this, and then turn it on (laughs) somehow. Yeah, it's great. It works. It works great. So I don't have to plug things in and unplug things. And unplug, yeah. Yeah, so it goes through the SIO port in the back of the FujiNet, so it works perfectly. Wow. Mm. You guys can't really use the Uno and FujiNet as the Uno will always load up first. I guess there's no... It takes priority then. Uh, Yeah, the cartridge port takes priority over the SIO port. Gotcha. And I guess there's no bypass. You can't turn it off kind of thing. Yeah, but the AVG cart you can turn off. Okay. I just smart fu- smart feature to put on it. It's awesome. Yeah. Only a reset. No way to disable it. Mm. Well, maybe on the next one they'll they'll think of that, uh, or they'll add that in. Okay, so we're gone. Um, uh, remember, no show on Friday. We'll be back on Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we will. Uh, oh, we're still tiny. One second. <laughs> Uh, thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll mm-hmm. see you next Tuesday yes. for the new Quiche Tribute yes. Show. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>